Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. We're going to bring George in here in just a second. We are trying something new tonight. Um, you see, we already have a little bit of a glitch, so we'll explain it to you when George comes on. Um, but I want to welcome everybody to the sale tonight. This is a, a, a Fenton a reunion from our Fenton convention. And uh, you're going to see something really weird tonight. Um, and George and I are going to be jinxing each other all night. So we didn't have time to figure it out. You're just going to have to deal with it at home. So without further ado, let's bring him in. There we go. Hi, George. Hello. Hi there. <laughs> so what seems to be happening is if either one of us comments, um, it just it just doubles. So all night long, it's going to double if I comment. But don't worry, we can deal with that. So um, right. Hi, so if you say that uh, if you say that my uh, blue blouse looks really sexy and I say thank you, you know, it's not really from me. <laughs> <laughs> OK, <laughs> so. So I will do the typing tonight for the comments, even though it looks like George is just right on the ball and he's he's saying stuff the same time I am. Hi, Sharon Carter. Hi, Susie Q, Janet Green. All right. So we have a whole different thing going on tonight, George. Um, we are on different venues. I can see that we're on five different venues tonight. So this is kind of a um, different thing for us. We did this um, at Marietta, but we didn't have George's channel in. So I want to welcome everybody from George's live channel. Um, and George, we kind of explained this at Marietta as an auction house. And the five different, there's five different rooms or five different places in the auction house. And that is who you are sitting with. So if you're in George's live room, you're sitting with your buddies, but you can't see people in my Facebook room. So what you have to do is watch the comments for any of the bids. So we'll collect the bids from all the rooms and we'll post the highest comment. So if you have any questions, let me know, but it should work pretty seamlessly except for the echo, 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 echo. <laughs> so um, that's how I explain it. So if you're in your room and you think that you're not seeing everybody bid, you're not. The only way you're seeing everybody bid is if you look on the screen and I will post the high bid. So, um, George, tell us about your shipping this week because you just were telling me, you might as well explain that to them. Oh yes, okay, very good. Well, um, welcome everybody. It's so nice to see so many of you, a bunch of you folks I've seen in sales earlier this week and uh, some of you I know from the Fenton Convention and met you there and it's just so great to be back. We had such a good time. We'll talk about that a little bit too, I'm sure. Um, we are, as far as my shipping, I am in Kentucky until tomorrow evening and then I'm actually going to Florida for a week. So. I am processing the sale that I did earlier today. I'm going to do my best to pack as much of this as I can and have it ready, whatever you buy. If you are somewhere between Kentucky and Florida, I will be happy to take the items and ship them from Florida if it's not going to cost you more. If you are somewhere to the north or the east or the west, uh, you may want me to wait until I get back. Uh, I'll, however, I will do my best to try to pack everything, hopefully tonight, and be able to shoot out some invoices so that if you're able to pay right away, I can get it shipped right away. Otherwise, I will be back on the 28th and I will finish the shipping then. Uh, that's the only way I can really do it and have it not cost you more, so. Okay, and my shipping is from Michigan. I do a flat shipping. Um, if you are a customer that is a regular customer, um, well, everybody is $7 a night. If you're a regular customer and you want to add to your $7, it's a couple dollars every night. So if you want something shipped out immediately, let me know. Otherwise, we try to fill boxes to save you shipping because we have a lot of repeat customers. Um, we may put up tonight lots. If we put up a lot and we have three choices or four choices, uh, we are on, we're, we're going to sell at least one of those choices. Uh, we reserve the right if we feel like the price isn't right to not sell the other um, items that are on choice, but we will at least sell one item for every choice. Um, and what else do we need to talk about? I don't think there is anything else. Oh, um, for those that are in George's uh, room and haven't, um, you know, uh, purchased from us before auction style, we don't do just in cases. We will put the item up. 
A lot of times we won't have a starting bid. If we do have a starting bid, it's just to move you along. Um, and we tr try to wait for you to say you're out. So it moves quickly. If you're done bidding, just say I'm out. And then we will go ahead and um, try to get everybody's bid and we'll go ahead and sell it. Now, if you um, if we miss you, it's just because we miss you. There's a lot of people in here and we, we've missed your bid. So try to keep on board. Try to keep bidding as quickly as you can. And if you're out, tell us you're out. So the way I sell is the first bid that starts, I put some music up. The music will run for a minute, a little over a minute, and then um, we'll start winding down. Okay. If anybody has any questions, let me know. But if you just you just have to experience it. And if you were with us in Marietta, George, they got to experience it, didn't they? Oh, they sure did. And it was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. Uh, can we talk just for a second about the uh, event itself? Because I know this is a little bit of a reunion. Um, sure. I won't go on too long, but it was very yeah. exciting. We had a lot of fun. Um, there are usually two Fenton conventions. The one after us, the big one actually canceled. Um, so the first one happened and then there were people from that looking around for something to do. So we got to meet some new people that way. And I think my favorite one was um, these two young women drove all the way from Indianapolis and stayed overnight to come looking. And they just happened to be walking down the street, mm -hmm. looked in the hotel where we were having our convention and mm -hmm. walked in off the street. And they were so excited. Actually, it was funny. The one friend brought her other friend. And I think the the one was really exciting. The other one started out as sort of the board tag along. And after about 30 or 40 minutes, we watched her start picking up stuff and thinking it was interesting and liking yeah. the colors. And, and yeah. I think we had a convert. And that just makes me so happy. So we had people from, um, gosh, in their 20s, all the way up to Dave Fetty, who we got to watch blow glass. And he came right. and uh, sat with us and signed some pieces. I've got a couple of uh, hanging hearts in one of his pieces with me for tonight. Oh, and cool. Yes, I had one left. And um, he was just so much fun to meet. We met some of the decorators. It was just a really fun event. Yes. And we have the hotel reserved for next year. You can call now and reserve a room for next year if you want to. Um, we're, I think we're going to go Monday through Friday this next year. Um, and we're, George and I are going to talk about it, but it's tentative right now, but they're holding everything for us. So if you're one of these that, Hey, I want to go ahead and reserve it way out so I can plan it and plan on it and, 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 uh, just get excited about it. You can do it because, uh, we're already set to go. <laughs> Dave was awesome to see. Yes, he is. Um, Steven Schultz. Hello there. Now, Stephen has shown us that he is on Facebook and hasn't registered with, with Steen Yard, but he has said Stephen Schultz. So if you're watching and you haven't registered on Facebook, just put your first name when you bid. Um, that will help us a lot. And I think, wasn't it fun though? I mean, people didn't realize that you could come in the evening, watch us sell live to everybody at home, come in and, and buy stuff from the booth all the way until 11 o'clock at night. I mean, we were there every night. <laughs> We were, yes. Now, I have to admit, if there'd uh, been another game in town, we might have shut down a little more during the day and gone touring, but we just had so much fun doing what we did. I mean, honestly, I don't know if I'd have had time. I did get to see the two antique malls in, uh, right in downtown Marietta, though, and they were fun and cool, too. So Yes, definitely, definitely. Okay, there is our moderator, Polly. John is also in the house. Um, Becky, uh, hello there. All right, I say we are good to go now. I'm going to go ahead and and uh, do the opening lot so that we can uh, show everybody how it's done. How does that sound, George? That sounds great. Okay. All right. Thumbs up. Yes, we have 115 watchers in house right now from all our venues. I want to. I want to thank everybody who is in the house. And we're going to have a great night here. Oh, uh, you are going to also be in the running. If you win an item tonight, I will put you on the wheel of names. And every five lots or so, we're going to give away a Freeman water bottle. This has um, a honey cleanser in there, uh, some kind of a face mask, and it has a headband in there. So every five lots. We will put you, we will uh, go ahead and draw for this. You have to be in house to win. So if you're not here, we're going to draw again. Um, and if you win something, you will go on the name, on the wheel of names, and you will go ahead and we'll bid to win tonight. All right. You'll get the hang of it. I promise. You're just going to have to put up with the uh, double comments from me. All right. Uh, so this is going to be choice. 
All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you these. You can go ahead and you can start it. There is no opening bid. Um, we have a Fenton little bear with a porcelain rose on it. This has the original Fenton sticker. And there he is. This is the laying bear. Hi, Trudy. We have this deer with the little rose on it. This one has the original tag. And uh, the, th this line was called Pearly Sentiments. So we have those two, or we have the little mini basket. These are all Fenton. Just bid once, you'll see the music will start. And then, and then we will go ahead and we will start our evening tonight. So here we go. Here is what you have to choose from. We will sell at least one item on the round. Start us out wherever you want to start us out. You start it. The Dusty Rose Basket is from 1987. The Pearly Sentiment Deers are from the 90s. And Miss Wildlife starts us out at 10 and we'll go ahead and start the music. I will turn it down a little bit for you. I don't want to blow you out. Let's see here. But I also want you to hear it. The reason I play the music is to give us some rhythm to the sale. And also, so that you understand, try to get your bids in during the music because we do not want to um, miss your bids. Miss Wildlife is at 16. You will get choice. They are so cute. This one has a little tag that says, you are my dearest. So we have the little um, deer. We have the mini basket. That's from 1987 in Dusty Rose. That was only produced one year. And then we have the little um, the little laying there. They have the porcelain rose on them. $16 is bid with Miss Wildlife. Now, Restored Glory, let us know if you're in or out. And anybody else can bid, too. You'll get your choice of anything on the round. And good evening tonight. How tall is the basket? Good question. Okay, the basket is about four and a half inches, and Jen, Jen is in at 18, Denise Smith is in at 20. So let us know if you're in or out. We will try our darndest not to miss any bids, but it, it may happen. Uh, Miss Wildlife, let us know. Miss Wildlife's at 21. Denise and Jen, let us know. We're going to do a last chance. We try to move along as quickly as we can. Backup bidder will get choice um, after the bidder. $21, 22 Jen. Pearly sentiments. And you will they're called that because they're kind of a rainbow iridized color. Um, and they when the light hits them, you're going to see a rainbow of colors um, on the two glass pets. 24, Denise Smith. And uh, Jen is in at 25. This is for choice. And they have porcelain roses. They indeed do. Now, Miss Wildlife, I see your bid, but Jen was first. Hello, Willie Joel. So again, let us know. Jen is in at 25. Miss Wildlife and Denise Smith, just let us know if you're in or out. And bid very quickly. And thank you for the five thumbs up. I appreciate it. 26, Miss Wildlife. 30 with Denise. Okay, and Jen is out. So we're just waiting for Miss Wildlife. Just waiting for Miss Wildlife. Um, the, the backup bidder will get choice um, after the, the winning bidder picks. So, uh, uh, wildlife, let us know. We'll do a last chance one more time here. All right. Okay. So that's, that's the deal. Denise Schmidt, you are the winner. So let us know, Denise. You are the winner. Just let us know which one you'd like and wildlife, you'll be the backup. Uh, we, that's why we use the music because you can hear the music and you know that uh, that the basket and the deer, you know, to uh, start, you know, winding down your bids. Okay, we have the bear down. If Miss Wildlife would like it, she can have it. 
Denise takes the basket and the deer. And if Miss Wildlife doesn't want it, it is up for grabs for everybody. So let us know, Wildlife. Thank you, Denise. Uh, she said she'll pass. All right, up for grabs if anybody wants the bear. All you got to do to claim it is just claim it. First one that gets it, gets it. And how much is it? It is $30. All right. Okay, claim it if you want to claim it. We're going to move on and let George sell something. If you want to claim it, all you got to do is say the bear. We'll just move on. Um, and we will let George go up. Okay. Well, um, those were very cute. And in honor of them, I guess I'm going to start with animals too. Uh, part of the reason I'm doing it is I know there's someone here in the chat who saw this in the background of one of the videos I did from the convention and uh, said, could you please put it aside for another live sale? I didn't get to participate. I, was, I didn't have this in our, any of our lives. So I thought, well, I'll bring it tonight. So it's going to be the choice between the Fenton fish, oh. which I'll show you here. Isn't that nice in that color oh, with all that? Yes. Fun. And it has its original tag here on it. Okay. It has most of its original UPC code. And originally it had a tag that said it was $69.50 when it was new. It was a little more expensive than their uh, regular stuff. And okay. then the other choice, uh, but we're going to start these at $39. So $39 is the starting bid. I am going to have to do starting bids on some of mine because oh, I got some fine. premium stuff. So choice at 39. Now this one was never in the line. This is this very bright, happy green color they did towards the end of the Dave Fetty egg that I'll show you later is a similar color to this. Um, this one was never in the line. It's artist signed and it's a little squirrel signed by uh, Emerson, I believe. And I mean, it's Iverson. Yeah, Iverson. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, ever. And yeah. He was one of the first, or I he was one of the very few men artists. There were very, very few men artists at Fenton. Yes, yes. And I thought that was really interesting. And that was part of the reason that I wanted to bring it. And I did not know that before the convention, but somebody came and we had one nice thing about being at the convention with a bunch of people who are really serious is they knew their stuff and that made it really fun. And because of that, uh, I got to find out things like, oh, yeah, that was the male artist. There weren't many of them and they yeah. were more of a premium and uh, oh, it's uh, okay. Well, Linda might be correcting me. She oh. said it's Linda Iverson. I, I'm sorry. I probably Linda. got that wrong. Yeah, okay. Well, all right. Well, we, we speak as if we know, but sometimes it's confusing. They had over a hundred decorators. So you'll have to forgive us if we're crossing wires. We were probably thinking of someone else. Uh, but we're at $40 with Sharon Carter, I see, is our opening bid. And thank you for that, Sharon. And uh, these are these are both harder figures to get, so I, I think they're pretty nice here. Um, pre bidding, I haven't really set up anything where there could be a pre bid, to be honest with you. So um, I, I'm not really set up for that. It's not something I do on the spot. And does the fish glow? The fish does not glow under a black light. I have a whole bunch of Fenton that does glow under a black light to show you. I have a lot of custard and Vaseline yellow. Uh, but this one's more of a mint green, and the mint green typically doesn't glow under a black light, and neither does this green. Uh, really looking for more of a yellow green. Those are the colors that are likely to glow because that's what the uranium salt was for, was to give it that yellowy green color or a bright yellow color. I've got some of those pieces I'll show you too. So uh, uh, a couple people are asking if they have to register. No, you do not have to register. Just make sure that you email us um, and... Uh, we have your information. It's the email is easy. George is the antique nomad at gmail.com. I'm Rosie's auction house at gmail.com. All got right. Amy at 50. We have Tina asking if we can see her bids. And I think she's through one of your groups. So I can't see them. Yep. We can see her. She's on Where YouTube. Okay. Yeah. Rosie's got everybody coming into one place. So she is the ultimate arbiter. She will be the one who will tell us who the high bidder is because she's got all the dope there. <laughs> right. Debbie's in at 51. Viking, you came in a little bit late. Amy, you came in a little bit late. Um, you'll have to go higher. 
There was somebody in at 46. Debbie Looney, please let us know if you're in or out. Uh, she's in at 51. Uh, Diane Robbins at 55, I see now, but I see Pat uh, Freeze. Amy Pappas is at 59 choice now. So that is our current high bid is 59 choice. And I can yeah. understand why. I mean, these are both great pieces. They both sold for more than that when they were new. Uh, Becky yes. is at 60. All right, $60 for choice. I mean, people uh, people who are not necessarily huge Fenton fans and are just discovering Fenton might be surprised. This was good quality stuff. It was not inexpensive when it was new uh, because it was really well made. And there's not that many American companies uh, that did artware even then. I see, let's see, Amy at 65 and Debbie at 65. So it looks like it's uh, down to you two folks. Uh, hi, Lynn. Thank you. They are both really cute in their own way, aren't they? I have to admit, I'm a fish guy, so this would be mine. But the little squirrel, I just love that color. And we were at $70 with Becky, $80 for Amy Pappas. Now, this is for choice. Yes, is choice. Yes, exactly. One or the other. Or the high bidder may choose both if they're both your taste or you have different types of uh, displays in different parts of the house. Then you are welcome to both of them. We've got Becky at $85. And uh, thank you. This is encouraging because, um, you know, you bring good stuff and you think, well, I hope people like it and you folks understand it. So that's wonderful. And Amy Pappas is at $95 choice now. I think Amy's getting serious here. <laughs> <laughs> the fish is really cool. It's, an, it's a really nice color. Hi, Rhonda Thomas. I I'm love Vegas Viking. <laughs> Yeah, this is honestly, um, uh, and hi, Rhonda, you might see a familiar piece later on. Um, this, uh, Rhonda came to the convention. Um, yeah, this color of green is my personal favorite color. I mean, you even see in my logo uh, that I use seafoam a lot because I just love seafoam. I, I like the beach and there's nothing more beachy than that. So uh, we are at 95 high bid. If anyone else is in, let us know. Otherwise, we'll wind this up. And it looks like, it looks like. Amy Pappas. Oh, it looks like Vegas Viking Glass at 97. Oh, yes. Okay. You're right. And All right. Our winner is Vegas Viking Glass at 97. Okay. So if you'll let us know which choice you have first, Vegas Viking Glass, and we will uh, uh, then see if Amy wants the other piece. So the we'll just wait for you to put that in the chat, and then we will uh, let uh, uh, Amy have the backup, and then we'll go on from there. So if you'll just uh, let us know. I know there's a bit of a lag and um, the fish. Okay, very good. Um, Amy, I don't know if you were interested in the cute little squirrel. If you are, please let us know and that can be yours. And I will put Vegas Viking glass. And just to let you know, because I know I haven't, um, uh, I see, she said fish too. Okay, very good. Um, just uh, even if you've even if you've uh, bought from me before, uh, please do send an email to me, the antique nomad at gmail.com. This is my fifth sale this week. I hardly ever have sales and then I have five in a week. So I want to make sure I keep everything straight and get everybody their orders. Right. And um, this little guy, uh, yeah. we can uh, just uh, leave up for grabs and we'll just set him aside. I want squirrel. Oh, Amy. Okay, great. You will have the squirrel and you will have it at the price. Um, I see you said you didn't get a chance to bid on that, but you wanted the squirrel. It's yours. And okay. we will honor the, um, I'm going to go ahead and honor that price uh, for you. So you don't have to worry. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to do another one. Now I'm putting your name on the wheel uh, for our winner. We're going to, after five lots, and this is going to be difficult because George doesn't have numbers like I do. But once in a while, we're going to go ahead and do it. So I've got everybody's name on the wheel so far. And we're going to get started with our next item. Our next item is a fairy lamp. And this fairy lamp is a U start. And it is in beautiful uh, colonial orange, which I like to call tangerine. It's beautiful. And uh, we're going to do the fairy lamp. So let me go ahead and get us started. And this is my number two. And you can start it where you would like to start it. All right. And we have 40. So here we go. All right. Let's take a look at this baby. 
It's gorgeous. I love this orange. I get more and more attached to it. I don't know what it is. There's something about it. Um, it really is, it's drawn me in. I, the, the colors, the, the greens, the blues, the oranges from the 60s and 70s. I, a year ago, two years ago, I had no interest in. Now I am really liking it. Yes, it does glow. It glows cadmium. Let's see if we can get it to glow here. Let's see. Yep, it does. It glows a little bit. All right. 60 bucks. We got 60 bucks. That's with Miss Wildlife. Bid quickly during the music. $60 is bid. Miss Wildlife is in at 60. Let us know. Six, uh, 61 with Restored Glory. 65 with Miss Wildlife. Uh, it does glow. Yes, it does. We're going to do a last chance as I look at the bids and remind you where we're at. Miss Wildlife, 65, Restored Glory, let us know. You are out. Okay, all in, all done. Our bid is 65 with Miss Wildlife. And we're going to go ahead and sell it. And thank you very much. And I will put you on the wheel, Miss Wildlife. Oh, you're already on there. Okay. So you're all set for now. All right, George, you're up. All right. Well, I saw Rhonda Thomas was here. She was at the convention and I thought it would be fun to put this up uh, just so that she can see it because I bought this from her because I thought it was really neat. And this is what it is. It is a Fenton cruet, a large cruet, because this one actually measures almost eight inches tall, but it is done based on the old Cambridge blue caprice pattern, the elegant glass pattern from the 1930s and 40s. And I assume that Fenton styled this themselves because I don't remember this piece with the Fenton ruffle being in their line, but it is absolutely based on the caprice shell line that you used to see. And this particular one, has its original label, which I think is great. And it originally, back in about 1970, was $25 new. And um, today I'm going to start it a little higher than that because <laughs> I had to pay a little bit for it. We're going to start this one at 35 and see if anyone's interested. But it's in great shape. So 35 is the starting bid. You'll see that the condition of the stopper is really good. They didn't have to grind their stoppers because Fenton was so precise about the way they did things that it actually fit in. And all they had to do was grind a little bit of the inside. And it's a perfect tight fit and sits very straight in there, which is really cool. And I just love this color of azure blue. Uh, the very first day I worked in an antique mall, I had just been hired and they were taking me around showing me things and I was completely overwhelmed. And the first thing I started noticing was a ton of beautiful glass. And I had a customer come up when the person who was training me was away and said, do you, do you know where a blue caprice is? And I said, well, I think I saw one in the parking lot. <laughs> and they laughed. And they said, no, 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 blue caprice is glass. So my very first introduction to elegant depression glass was that customer showing me pieces of blue caprice and telling me about it. And I learned right away, you learn a lot from the people who collect this stuff. And that's mm -hmm. what's fun is it goes into, uh, you can go into a really deep dive. So uh, 35 yeah. is the opening bid on this. If anyone is interested, here's the uh, card that came with it. Talking it's really nice that. to have the paper label on there, too, because those usually get washed off. They usually get washed off. Exactly. Somebody apparently bought this and did not actually use it. So Vilma is starting our bidding at 36. And that's great. Thank you, Vilma. We appreciate that very much. Um, you're a new person to me. Uh, the interesting thing is, if you notice, this is blown uh, in mold. And that's why you don't see a pontal on the bottom. They would actually... Um, uh, break the piece off the other direction, and so you don't have that, uh, uh, the pontal, so it sits very flat, which is nice for this because, you know, certainly some people would use this on a table, and uh, I just think it's really uh, pretty. i never seen green Fenton pieces, who have been says, well, we just sold two right before you got in, um, 
they did a lot of lime green custard. That's their their green or mint green that sort of thing. Uh, we've got uh, two of you at 38. One of you will have to uh, bump up from there if we have a tie good. In the case of a tie good, it's the first person who did who ends up with it. So, yeah. I'm dead. I have to admit, I, I could almost sing this in my sleep after we were there doing this for a week. <laughs> I purposely use the same song. <laughs> I'm not tired of it. <laughs> Yes, I've got some stories, Sativa Queen, but yeah, that was very fun to me because it was my first day, and uh, boy, I, if I already felt like I didn't know what I was doing, that definitely uh, told me I had to move. So um, anyway, uh, we've got two of you at 38, so we're just waiting to see which one of you is um, going to step up for the next bid. I've uh, got Andrea in first. We turned yep. the music down a little bit. Don't worry. We'll, we got it turned down a little bit. We're just jamming a little bit. <laughs> All right. Velma's at 39. So she yes. kind of broke everybody up. And um, yes, there's uh, she's at 39. We had two at 38. So um, I know we've got a lag. I know we've got a lot of people from a lot of directions and I don't want to um, uh, step on anyone, but we are at last call here, folks. So go ahead and put in your final bids uh, because this is going to sell. And we're just waiting to see since there's uh, three or four of you who are into this. Um, which uh, which one of you will end up with it? Uh, I just I just thought it was a lovely piece. I thought the colors were really great, and I was so excited to get to buy this um, at the convention. And thank you, Rhonda. I really appreciate it. Uh, I, I bought two pieces of this uh, from her, and the other one, well, I sort of selfishly kept because you heard my story, so I needed it as a memento. <laughs> okay, JC, let us know if you're out. We don't, we kind of, we kind of wait to see if you're out. JC, let us know. Everybody that's bidding, we don't do just in cases. We, we give you some time to say that you're out. We don't want to miss your bid. But so then we, again, we're not going to wait too long. So, right. So we've got Vilma and JC and Andrea. Andrea is the current high bidder at 42. So if anyone else is interested, now's your chance. And let me make a note there. Uh, oh, Antiques for You is in at 46, so we hear from a new corner. Very good. And this one says, each Fenton piece has that singular and personal quality of things made entirely by hand. Because of its unique character, it reflects the good taste of those who give it and those who possess it. Um, they're also trying to mention to you that it is handmade, and so there are going to be little variations between them as a result. Um, you know, have... And when they say handmade, you think, well, yeah, but it was a production house. But yeah, they did a lot of finish work even before they started doing the painting and the decorating. So we're at last chance here, folks. We've got a high bit of 50 with Andrea. And I'm going to leave it to Heidi. She is the one in control. So um, when she says the bidding is done, then that's where we are. Vilma is out. Andrea is okay. at 50 antiques for you. Are you still in? Let us know. Yeah, we're just waiting for antiques for you. We'll give her just a second. Yes. All in, all done. It is a beautiful cruet. It's like a it's like a light sapphire. It's just so pretty. Yeah, yeah. I know uh, Pilgrim called this azure blue. Antiques for you is out. So I think we have our winner. Okay, it is sold. And it's sold to Andrea Jordy. And she is from Rosie's. That's wonderful. Uh, well, thank you. Please yes. send your information to me, the antique nomad at gmail.com, and we'll get that set up. All right. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and come up here and we'll see what I have. All right. So this is number three, and I have a um, coin spot or coin dot. I can't remember which one they call it. I kind of call it thousand eyes because when you look in there, you see a thousand little eyes in those dots. This is light blue, and it is a coin dot vase. Um, it might look a little white, but I'll put it over on the round so you can keep, see the color. It's a light blue. Um, and this one is going to be number three. And you can start it where you may. I'm going to call it Coin Dot. All right. Hey, Tom Rebel's in the house. Start it where you want to. It'll sell. It is six inches tall, and it is seven inches across. And it is a beautiful piece. Miss Wildlife is going to start us out at, at 10. I appreciate that. All right. There it is. In beautiful blue. Such a classic look. 
And this also comes in cranberry and green opal. There's a lot of colors it comes in. Um, I like the light blue. Okay, there we go. Did you collect that bid? You did, George. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up and help with the <laughs> ones I can see anyway. I, I can't hear you very well. Okay, there we go. All right, 15, Miss Wildlife. There we go. Awesome. Okay, let me go ahead and see if we can um, add this over here and you're gonna be able to see it just a little bit better. There is the top of it. Oh, I keep forget, George. I'm gonna sit on my hands. You go ahead and do it. No, <laughs> sorry about that. Let me do it again. There we go. Uh, we've got two of you at 20, but Jennifer was first, so she's the current high bidder that I can see. And if there's anyone else, then the, uh, Heidi will put it in the corner for you. So that's where you want to look. Be looking at the screen where the item is, not at the uh, comments, because you may not see everybody. Brian Long is in the house. Dogfish 22. The blue really pops on that. Yeah, when I put it underneath the uh, uh, other light, uh, you can see the blue. Okay, so we have Dogfish at 22, but we had three people at 20. So Vilma, uh, Jen, let us know. Dogfish is at 25. Okay, last chance. Well, because we're telling you, you better hurry and bid, Jen. <laughs> It's it's probably my fault because I keep trying to pop the bid in and uh, I I should be letting Heidi do it but I'm uh, that's okay I get excited <laughs> it's six inches six inches tall whoever was asking all right twenty seven with Velma thirty with Brian Dogfish hey Dogfish we've got some uh, we got a swim vase here tonight you're gonna be wanting that. Uh, Myra, 45, 45 is bit. It is beautiful. It's almost as wide as it is tall. A gorgeous light blue. Okay. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that name. Stripey one. <laughs> Stripey one. Oh, I'm a little slow. All right. 48 with antiques for you. Uh, Myra, let us know if you're in or out. We're just waiting for Myra. I believe she's the only one. Uh, Dogfish, you were at 33, so I'm assuming that you are out. Okay. So we're just waiting for uh, Myra. Remind you of our bids. Myra, all in, all done. Oh, Tammy L. Britton, you are lagging. Make sure you're in live chat. And um, please keep engaged. What, what I mean by that is put some dot, dot, dots in, send some emojis, whatever you can do. Every few minutes, do it to fill up a comment line, and it will keep you engaged. All right, 62, Myra. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Antiques for you. I think um, I think we're all out now. Let's Let me go back and just make sure. All right. It is sold to Myra. Okay. Myra, um, do you have my information? It's it's Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. No comma. Just Rosie's Auction House. No parenthesis. Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. Um, and please just send me a hello. It's in the description too. All you need to do if you're new with me is just send me a hello on email and I will invoice you from your email. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. Okay, now I just have to turn off this ad that I started trying to watch this on the phone too. There we go. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, get back on track here. The reason I grabbed the phone is because I wanted to show you a picture of this piece because um, I was doing a sale yesterday and I had it in, but more as a tutorial thing. I am going to see if I can bring this up so that you can see what it looks like under my photos here first, because then I'll show you the piece. But this is, this is what it looks like. There we go. Under a black light. 
This is a very glowy piece. And this is the only one, I have a whole lot that glows. This is the only one I have a picture of glowing. Uh, but this is a really neat yellow green Vaseline piece. This is the piece as it looks not under a black light. This is a Fenton piece that was made very late in their production. Thank you. It is a glow getter. I love that. Look at that little graphic. Um, this one was made, um, it was never in the line. It was an experimental piece and it has an iridescent sheen. It's opalescent at the edge and then it trims out in this black carnival which I think is just amazing and gives it so much dimension. Uh, this piece, we're gonna start this one off at um, uh, $60 is the opening bid. This measures eight inches, well, actually it's, uh, it's nine inches tall, I'm sorry. It's nine inches by eight inches wide. Um, so it's a nice big substantial piece. I am starting it at 60. It was never in their line. Um, so it's not like you're going to be able to go find a comp on this, but I do know that they originally had a price over $100 on this piece uh, when I picked it up and I um, took the tag off, of course, but it is a nice piece and you saw it does glow like crazy. Um, this is the original yellow green Vaseline color that was what the Victorians originally priced so much in Vaseline glass. And that's the reason they put the uranium in. And of course they didn't know about things glowing under black lights because they didn't even have electricity yet. It was just because it made this very happy yellow green color. Uh, let's see, I see Sean McClinton at 65, I think is our current high bidder on this piece. And uh, it's a really nice one. It's this diamond lace pattern, which is a very popular pattern for them. Uh, but just the fact that it was never in the line, it has this trim and the fact that it's got some opalescence to the edge, it's a pretty unusual thing. I don't know the names of the handlers. Someday maybe someone who worked for Fenton will tell us because I know one of the decorators knew. They called them the handlers if they put the pieces on, the handles on. That was their job. And it was a very special skill because you had to join the piece, not break the piece, make it all look good. So um, it's a pretty cool thing. And I am excited to bring it to you. And let's see who's in there. We've got Rhonda, Sean, and Daphne are all at this. Uh-oh. Shoot, folks, I am so sorry. I just turned this in a light. I haven't had it in this bright light. There is a crack in this piece. I am so sorry. And you're all bidding on it. I'm telling you how great it is. And it really is. But I just saw damage. And I do not like to sell damaged pieces. I am so sorry for wasting your time on that, but at least you got to see a pretty piece. Um, I, I can't sell it to you at these prices with damage, though. It's just not right. And I just noticed it, and I apologize for that. Um, do you want to do um, something that we do? Do you want to sell it? I'm willing to sell it as is for a lesser price. I just don't want people to pay big money for something that has uh, damage. It's, I, I don't know how I missed it. I think it's because okay. it's funny when I started telling you about the handles, the crack is right by the handle and that's why I, I spotted it. Okay, so what we'll do is make an offer. If George can, wants to accept it, he will accept it. So he'll say bid accepted if you can, he'll accept it. Make an offer. Now, George, on a scale from 1 to 10, 10 being hardly noticeable at all, what would you say that crack is? Mm, I'd say it's it's noticeable, truthfully. Okay. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it because I didn't notice it at first, but you can see that it runs right here a little bit, and you can see it more up here. Uh, and I okay. don't know how I missed this, but now, it, now I understand why it... Um, well, that, that diamond yeah, right lace pattern there. is kind of busy. It so, is busy, and, and that's unfortunate. I see a couple of people um, are offering 20. I will take whatever the offer is, but I know there's two people interested. Um, someone's offering 30. Any of those numbers are fine. Um, so you folks go ahead and offer based on what you're willing to pay for it as is, and I'll be happy to send it to whoever the high bidder is, and $30 is the current high bid on it. Um, We're so, going to go ahead and put a timer on this. And, that's a good idea. Um, and uh, when the timer is up, we'll take the high bid. If I can find my timer. Very good. So it's thirty seconds, and we'll okay. take the we'll take the high offer at thirty seconds. Okay, so it's going to go up. Rhonda's at thirty-five right now. Though this is for as is, make an offer, and the bid's accepted, so it's going to sell. Um, we have thirty-five dollars, and. Uh, it, it's going to go to the highest offer. 
when 30 seconds is up, okay? So 35 with Rhonda Thomas. She is the high bidder um, with the as is little crack in there. So we are going to go up. We got 15 seconds left. It still glows. It certainly does. <laughs> it's still a pretty piece. I just, I really believe in honest representation and it's so embarrassing to find it right in the middle of the sale, but I'd rather tell you the truth. Okay. Otherwise I have to say, oh gee, I sold you something damaged. Now what do we do? <laughs> okay. okay. Rhonda, I, I think if I'm getting this, it looks like it's for you. Because I yes. think that you have the 35 in first. No, nope, no. Nope. Nope. Daphne. Daphne at the last second gets it. Okay. Daphne Shih Tzu. Well, thank you very much. I, I appreciate it. I am glad that uh, you folks got to enjoy it anyway the way it is. And it is a really neat piece. And I'll wrap it very, very carefully for you so that it gets there in one piece. All right. Okay. There we go. We have this piece. Now, um, I sold several pieces of this at the convention, and I can't remember what this is called. It's, I think it's Jamestown Blue. I, I don't. Honestly, I cannot remember. Um, I know it's a harder one to find, and it's an older piece. I think it's from the 40s, maybe, but I'm sure somebody out there will help us out. Uh, Becky Barnett bought a few pieces of this. We actually had this at our pre-convention sale Saturday, and I saw this was not unpacked yet, so I'm putting it up. What? Is that octagon? I think that's octagon shape. Is octagon eight? One, two, three, four. There's six sides, whatever that is. Hexagon. Jamestown blue, 1950s. Okay, boy, I'm so smart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to let you start this one. And this is number four. And um, it's, a, it's a Fenton bowl. And just go ahead and start it. I hope Becky Barnett's in the house. I saw her earlier. Um, but it's a beautiful color, very, very collectible. And they didn't make this very long. Um, it's a cased glass only made, there you go. Only made in 57 and 58. Yes. So, um, it's beautiful. Hi, Serena. So it has this, this beautiful lighter blue inside, which is probably just ivory and it's picking up the blue on the outside. Gorgeous blue. Start us out. Start us out. All right, 25. It's going to go. It's going to go, go, go. Here we go. I thought I saw Becky at 40. Um, we're, yep, we're flying now. 50. It is, Sorry, it, it is a really nice crimp. There it is. I had several pieces in this. We actually had a little collection of it. And uh, we didn't get to show it to you. Um, actually, Becky was first. Jamie, I'm sorry. She popped in there first. We were dealing with a lag. I got to take the first one. Um, so Jamie will have to go higher. Jenny will have to go higher. Um, we had a little collection of this glass. Um, we never did get a piece up to you live during the convention, but we were able to bring it on the post shows. 57, Jamie. It's beautiful. Let me go ahead and measure it across for it for you. Uh, it's it's about nine inches across. Just gorgeous color. Fifty-seven dollars is bid with Jamie. All right. So this was made a very short time, in the late fifties. I love the crimp. It's got a nice big crimp too. It's an unusual shape. We're going to do a last chance. You got lag issues? Okay. Uh, if you do have lag issues, listen to the music. Just try to get your bids in during the music. And if you have lag issues, you can go dot, you can go dot, 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 dot. Just like that. That's all it takes to keep you active. Send me a heart emoji. Just don't, mm -hmm. just don't watch. Keep engaged. Okay, um, Jen is first at 60. Becky, you have to go higher. 62, Jamie. Or refresh, but make sure you're in live chat. That's very important. Sometimes their Facebook people don't remember to stay in live chat. I really don't know what the difference is, but you don't want to be in top chat. <laughs> All right. 62. I want to take a second here while we're collecting bids to remind you 
If you are a Rosie fan, please go over to the Antique Nomad Live and subscribe to his channel. And if you are a Nomad fan, please come subscribe to Rosie's. Yes. All right, 65 Jen. Becky, you have to go higher. 67 Jamie Haynes. Hello, Cheryl. High bid shows on the screen, not in the chat. Correct. Horrible lag. Keep yourself engaged. Keep yourself engaged. That's what you got to do. All right. Jamie is at 67. Jen is out. Uh, we're going to do a last chance while I collect the bids. Uh, okay. Uh, we're still going to wait for you, Becky. So that's why we don't, we don't uh, take just in cases. We wait. Becky, let me know if you're in or out. 69 with Becky. Hello, Yvonne. 69 with Becky. How do I pay? Uh, I don't think any of us are real picky. Just as long as you do. <laughs> all I right. do Evo, Pal, Venmo, cash, uh, cash App, all that stuff. All right. Becky is at 69. I think we're waiting for Jamie Marsh, 72. Now we've got two people in. So 72 with Jamie. Becky, we're going to wait till you say you are in or out. Thank you, Valma. We appreciate your, subscri your subscription. I guess you called it. <laughs> All right. Uh, 72 with Jamie. Becky, we're going to wait for you, sweetie, because I know that you collect this. So I don't want to miss your bid. Just let us know if you're in or out. Jamie is at 72. Jamie's at 72. Becky's at 75. Jamie, your turn. Show the bottom, indeed. Becky's at 75. We're waiting for Jamie Marsh. All right. All right, Jamie Marsh, let us know. We're going to do a last chance once again. Just waiting for Jamie. Uh, and we'll go ahead and close it out. Any Rosaline? No, I do not. Oh, yes, I do. I do. I have some animals tonight. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And Becky Barnett gets it. All right. Thank you, Becky. Let me go ahead and write this down. You, can, is... you can switch over, George. Oh, yeah, I guess I can. Uh, well, let me try that. Uh, well, let's do it this way. Oh, that makes three of us. That makes the bowl. Hmm, this will be fun. Watch me try. Oh, I'm doing all sorts of fun things. This is great. Are you enjoying this? <laughs> I'm going to let you switch me over so I because I'm not quite sure which one makes it just me. Okay. <laughs> we have definitely learned that George on his own with tech is not the greatest thing. I am very happy that Zeno is starting to feel better. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. We're going to draw for that... Um... I hope I got everybody's name. Um, we're going to draw for a water bottle here um, when I come up next. Oh, and Myra, I see your uh, comment. And uh, we did know that you were in lag and that that was an old bid. So we are kind of trying to keep track of that. Um, I know you're having a lot of lag problems. Um, I Like she said, if you put something in the chat, it will keep you active. And if Or if you hit refresh. And yes, do make sure you're in live chat. Top chat does not show all of the chat. And that will mess you up. So, um, OK, very good. Let me go on to another piece. And since Yvonne's here, I think I'll have fun. I actually do have one other piece that glows under a black light. And I'm going to put this one up for bid because, number one, it's a really cool piece. And number two, I had it uh, thinking I might sell it with Yvonne yesterday, and then um, she put one up for bid. And so I said, well, I'll hold on to this for tonight. So here it is. And this is the Hexagon. It's funny that we both had one because they're not actually that common to find anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, this is custard glass, and it is Fenton. Like you said, it glows in a black light. I'm going to start this one at $18. Um, which is certainly inexpensive for it. It's about eight inches. 
and there is the Fenton logo. They did start putting logos on at some point in the late 60s, but it wasn't until the 70s that they put them on everything. Um, this piece was designed in the 60s. It's got, I think those are supposed to be chrysanthemums. It's got a little bit of an Asian feel because a lot of people uh, were bringing Asian decor in in the 60s. And I really like the feet too. I like the uh, texturing. It's a nice, heavy, substantial piece. And it is a planter, although I've seen mainly, I've never seen one with a plant in it, honestly. I've seen them with other things in them, faux plants, or used on a table to serve things. I've seen them as candy dishes. I've seen them, uh, well, I, I, I wouldn't do it with the custard because it would scratch, but I, I know someone who has one in the orange, and they use it to put their wallet and car keys in by the door because they like the way it looks. Um, I'm not sure where we are with the bidding. There were a bunch of bids earlier. I thought, and then it seemed like, yeah, it, oh, it is definitely a lag. Okay, there we go. Now I think we've got it, and um, thank you for keeping up. It looks like Vilma at $32 is our current high bidder. Um, this one, I promise you, and the rest of them I have looked at, do not have chips cracked or damaged. Um, so be very careful about that for you folks. And this one's really clean, too. One thing with the satin custard glasses, you know, if you weren't careful with it, you could get marks on it and stuff. It can be cleaned pretty easily, carefully. I usually use the scrubber, uh, scrubber sponge with very soft bristles, and that does it. And we've got a couple of you folks at 40, so we're going to wait to see which one of you is uh, the most anxious to have this. I, I, we have Sharon at 40. We have Deborah at 40. And we had Sean. Uh, Sean is out. So it's between Sharon and Deborah. And uh, if one of you, uh, you're both tied at the bid. Vilma's in at 42. Deborah is out. So we've got Vilma and um, I think it was uh, it was Sharon. But now Vilma at 42, I show is the high bidder here. Uh, Sharon's at 45. And yeah, it's a really pretty piece. It's a neat piece. And um, uh, Sharon, I have not processed your uh, purchase from earlier, so we can do combined shipping on this. I will just have to make sure that this gets padded. Or um, any of you folks, um, if I if you bought stuff from me recently and I haven't sent it already, then we can combine shipping on it. Uh, the music is timed out, Tina, and that's actually to let you know that we're getting near the end of the bid. Um, that's the reason the music comes and goes. It lasts for a little bit over a minute, and then that's our clue that it's time to wind down. Uh, we've got Sharon at 55 and Shelly at Absolutely Glows. Um, let me see if I can bring that picture back up. I don't have pictures of most of my glowing Fenton tonight, but I did have this one. So if I can get this to open, I will show you again. There is the piece as it glows. And the I love the Fenton custard because it's um, it's not transparent. So you get the most glow under a black light with this more than really any other um, Sharon is out. Uh, we've got Vilma at 56, and I, I think that makes Vilma our uh, new owner of this. Am I right? Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much, Vilma, and you're new to me. So again, please send your information to the antique nomad at gmail.com. All right. We're going to go ahead and give away. Uh, let me see if I can do this now. We're going to give away this water bottle. Um, and I'm going to have to share the screen and I want to make sure I got everybody's name that won. I'm, I'm not, I'm trying to, but I don't know as I got everybody, uh, but here it is. And uh, let's go ahead and see if we can see that up there. Yeah. Okay. So I think we got everybody that won so far. If we didn't let me know, I'll put you on twice for the next draw. Okay. Um, so we have this water bottle. Um, it's a Freeman bottle. Um, it's a really nice uh, water bottle, and you're going to have two um, masks in there. One's a peel-off, and one is a um, cleansing mask by Freeman, and it's got, I think that's some kind of a headband or something. So you're going to get this, um, and we're going to click to spin it. You have to be here to win. If you're not here, we'll go ahead and do it again, and here we go. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Myra. Hey. Myra, are you in the house? Myra, you've got about 30 seconds to just claim it. All you got to do is say it's yours. I know she's here. I saw she's her. She's the one who had the really bad lag, so it might take a second. She might not even know she won yet. <laughs> okay. Um, well, I'm going to go ahead and unshare this. I know she's here. Um, 
So Myra, just let us know. I'm going to put your name on it. You're going to have to email me because I know you won something. Um, and uh, it's uh, Rosie's Auction House, no apostrophes or anything, Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. And uh, congratulations, Myra. Hi, Dana Brown. All right. What you got, George? Oh, I... Uh, is it my turn or your I turn? Think it's your turn, actually. All right. It is. I was going to do in a pern. And Miss Wildlife said, uh, please put her in twice next time. She did actually buy something now that I think of it. Wah, wah, wah. Yep. I forgot Miss Wildlife. We'll put you in twice. It's hard to do this and remember all this stuff. Yeah, I, I think it's amazing that you're juggling all of these things because as you saw me pushing buttons, um, I can I can put us in a black screen really fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're, I have two apartment size of perns. You are going to get choice. Now, as I said earlier, with choice, um, I will sell one, okay? Um, if I don't feel the price is passable, I will only sell one. I'm going to, we've got 182 people in house. Wow. I'm going to put it up without reserve. So one of them will sell at least. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do it. I think we have a great crowd here. And, uh, I hear John moaning in the front room, but I, I trust you. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a Fenton apartment size of Pern. These are the cool ones. They're pastels. And um, I will show them both to you, but I want you to get started here. And I want to check conditions. So here is the horns. This is actually, um, boy, the blue and the green are so hard to tell, but this looks like it is pastel blue. I will put it up on the round, um, but I'm going to show you the other choice. This is the apartment size Epern. We actually have 185 peeps right now in the house. Um, good condition, apartment size Epern. This is a smaller one. Um, let me go ahead and get this up here for you so you can see it. And uh, here it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, and then the second one, and I'm going to hear you say, ooh, the second one is in pink. It is in pink. So you'll get your choice, and um, uh, where is it? Here we go. Go ahead and start it. If you want me to put a start on there to speed it up, I will, but usually you guys are pretty good. 98. Okay, here we go. I, I, don't, I can't tell the different rooms, um, but what I can tell is the total of attendance. And so far, George, I think this is working out real well tonight. Yeah, I show 197 people on my end. I don't know how many you show. No. Yep. That's great. Well, it's fun stuff, and we're showing some really pretty things. These are beautiful. So we have 125. Facebook user, please put your name. You can see we've got 200 people in the house, so we need to have your name. I took your bid, but when you bid again or um, whatever, just put your name on there so we can see you. So this is the pastel pink. Russell, okay. Russell is at 125. Um, 130 with Dawn. Uh, the apartment size for uh, Aperns are the most collectible because of the size, um, and they are smaller. These are in the pastels, and you can see the pastels are so, so sought after, especially in today's market. So you'll get your choice. If the price is, is good enough, I'll pass it. Um, let me go ahead and put the pink one up there. I have to be really careful here. Here's the pink. They're in good shape. The horns are in good shape. Everything looks great. You don't have to pre-register. No, we just, we trust that you will want your item and you will email us to get it. Okay. Uh, Russ is at 140. Don is at 150. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Can you see me over there? <laughs> you can. This is the pink one. All right, 140, uh, 150 is bid. The blue one's really hard. If, unless you have the blue and the green together, um, 
they're really difficult to see. I had all three at the convention and I think the green one is what I sold. This does definitely look blue. 155 with Diane Robbins. Yes, you can see me. You can see me peeking through here. <laughs> Russell's out. Diane is at 55. I have no idea which one you would pick. I know what one my favorite is, but 155. Um, Russell's out. We're going to do a last chance. I'm going to go back and collect bids and make sure. 160 with Don. All right, you're still bidding, so I'm going to switch these again. It looks like we've got three bidders who are, uh, Don's in the lead at 160. If the other two folks want to uh, make a higher bid, now's your opportunity. Oh, I like that color. Actually, I, I would like them both together. <laughs> yes, it, it'd be cool to start collecting them. I I, the, I know they come in the green, the blue, the pink, the melt glass. And then, you know, those are the the main colors. I, I think they made, well, They we had a plum one at the convention. So there's quite a few different colors. Okay, Dawn, let us know. Uh, it looks like Diane is out, so we're waiting for Dawn. You love that blue, ha! Huh? I, I, I will tell you that George likes the blue and I like the pink. That makes sense. <laughs> All right, 165. Pink and white melt glass look great together. They do. I like I like melt glass and jadeite green. I think that's pretty. I, I don't know. John, Don, uh, John likes topaz and plum. Okay, 166 antiques for you. But I just, I I collect the can covered candies in this, these pastels. Um, I haven't, I haven't even thought about the Aperns. 166 with antiques for you. Don, let us know. 168, it looks like we're down to two bidders. Dawn's at 168. Antiques for you. Just let us know if you're in or out. I think you guys are getting the hang of this now. Mm -hmm. 168 with Dawn. Antiques for you. Let us know. Again, it's real easy to get a hold of either one of us. Um, all you have to do is uh, uh, the antique nomad at gmail.com or Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. Don't put the put, 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 whatever that is, apostrophe in. <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and sell it. Okay, Dawn, you are the high bid at 168. I will go ahead and let you take whichever one you want. You can take them both if you want, um, but the choice is yours, Dawn. She wants both. Take them both. All right. That's the way to do it. All right, George. I think both is a good choice with those because those are both really nice pieces. So you'll have fun with that. Um, my next bit is a choice also. And these are two more um, animal figures. These are rather scarce. And I will show you. And it will be your choice. I've got the snail in the carnival glass, the black carnival. And the mallard duck painted, the, they called these the natural birds when they were painted all the way out. And this one was never in the line. It's got the artist's signature on the bottom there. Uh, but Fenton never actually sold this as one of its regular line items. It was a special order only. And, I, and then the black carnival snail here is the... Um, is the... Um, black uh black and blue carnival here and we've got the little paper label on the back so um this one originally they were asking 110 i'm going to start these i am going to do a starting bid on this i would like to start these at um 60 so 60 dollars choice i brought the snail because we had a particular uh person who i see in the chat who had interest in it so if you still do now's your chance to get it uh, $60 choice will be the opening bid on these. And Sharon is at 60, Polly's is at 70. 
So I guess you uh, folks know what you're looking at. <laughs> I love the Black Carnival. I have to admit, I've really become, I found a bunch of Old Virginia, which was their Black Carnival line they did about 1970 at an estate sale here in Kentucky and was really knocked out by it. I haven't seen a lot of that. And when I say black, it's really, it's blue glass, but it just, it shows very, very darkly. Uh, we've got two of you at $80, I see, um, uh, and one at 75 Is the Knowledge Chocolate Slag Glass? Yes, this is chocolate slag. And it's uh, really nicely done. I mean, they had to be very careful to control it so that the colors would go in the right place uh, when they did the... Uh, when they do the chemicals that make the color. Um, so this one was very interesting and a little difficult to control. And then the green head is painted as well as these details on top of the chocolate slag. So these are unusual. They're pretty hard to find. Uh, they're nice because they're small and, and you folks seem to like them like I like them. So we're just gonna let you uh, uh, keep uh, bidding. And they really are great. I, I was very fortunate to get some things that were unusual in the uh, Fenton animal category. So. Uh, Sharon is at $90. I think she's our current, uh, well, actually, Andrea, I think, was in at 90 First, now Amy Pappas is at 100 And so... Uh, I love the chocolate on the Mallard. It makes him look so realistic. It's so great. And it was so well controlled. I just am I, amazed how they Exactly. Were yeah. Yeah, they That's really That's what amazes me. It looks like his wings. How did they get it to, to do that? Because it they never it, when it cools down that's when the color and everything does what it's going right. to do they, they don't, don't really necessarily that. know i suspect what they did is i'll bet they made a bunch of slag glass ducks and one of the decorators went to the line and said hey i'm going to pull the ones that i think i can turn into a mallard where the color came out right because they really can't control for that so my yeah. guess is that's how it happened and it looks like we've got two people at 105 i'll show the snail a little bit more again just for fun He's got very nice all over carnival. Amy Pappas is at 115. And um, yeah, I just, uh, I do think they, you know, they were so careful with their uh, modeling too. I mean, look at all the detail in the snail, the texture of the skin, the shell, all of the ripples, even on the back where you wouldn't necessarily see it. And then all the wings on this. Um, you know, this is why I have a lot of respect for Fenton is that they really were very careful about their work and they did really good stuff. Debbie mm -hmm. is at 120 and uh, we're going to wind this down, folks. So uh, please put your final bids in because uh, we're going to sell these real quickly here and it will be choice for the high bidder. If anyone uh, else is in there, we've got Andrea at 118. Amy Pappas at 135 is our high bidder now. So... Amy is in the driver's seat. If anyone else is uh, interested, uh, you'll have to uh, outbid her at 135. And we'll give you just a moment to contemplate that. These are kind of heavy, I have to admit. I feel like I'm getting exercise. <laughs> Was nothing like Marietta when we were holding up those alley cats and everything. Yeah, oh, that's right. Okay, it looks like Andrea's out. I think that means we're going to sell this choice to Amy. Does it look like everybody's out? I and let nope, Debbie's in at 137. So it's between Amy and Debbie uh, for choice on these items. Okay, Amy Pappas, let us know. 145. Amy, 145. All right. 145. Uh Miss Looney, let us know. Nice to see you tonight. Nice to see a lot of uh, rosy peeps out there, and it's nice to meet a lot of new uh, nomad friends. Yes, that's right. It's a great mix of people. It's nice to have you all together. And uh, sourcing treasures, I wanted you to know I got your stuff from the uh, sale yesterday boxed, and uh, I haven't looked to see if you've sent me an email, but if you have, I'll get you an invoice. Okay, it looks like we are sold to who gets the pick. Uh, I, think it, I think it's Amy. I think it's Amy Pappas. So Amy, let us know if you want one or both of these. I think 145 was the bid. And if you don't want both, then we will uh, let the backup bidder have choice or have the backup. Sorry. <laughs> you get choice. What, which one are they going to take, George? Mm, I don't know. Amy likes these. She might take both. I'm never sure. I'm betting on the, I'm betting on the snail. Yeah, you might be right. Let's see what she says. Do, 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 do. 
Nail. Yay, ah, you win. Okay, very good. All right. Um, now our backup bidder was. Our backup bidder is Debbie Looney. Debbie, would you like the um, duck for the same price? They are both amazing. They are. It would have been a hard choice because to get to get that color in the duck is crazy. But uh, Deb Debbie Looney, let us know if you would like it. You're the backup. And if you are uh, wanting that, we can. Yep. She takes the duck for the same price. Oh, great. Well, that's wonderful. You both got something. That's great. And that was 145. I will get you. Uh, I will get that down. Thank you very much. Remember, ladies, um, you're with the Rosie group. The, uh, you got to go ahead and email George, uh, the antique nomad at gmail.com. Yes. That thanks. easy. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? Ah, look at this. Do I hear you go? Ah, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. This is a special piece. It glows. I'm going to turn the light off here in a second and show you. But this is a special iris vase made for Singleton Bailey. It is in Topaz. Um, I could not find it. Can I hear you say, ah, show me in comments. Show me in comments. I want to see it. Um, look at the top. Wowzer is right. It is an iris vase. It's show vase size. Um, it was made special made for Singleton Barry or Singleton Bailey. So um, you're not going to find it. You're not going to find this color. I'm going to light it up here, but I'm going to get you started. Let me get my black light and I'll, I will turn the lights off. But uh, uh, I'm not you guess what you're going to start it. I, I just I feel like you can start it. There's 202 people in here. Um, it's an iris face. Go ahead and try to find it. You won't find it anywhere. Mm -hmm. So, uh, there we go. I'll let George take bids if they come in. I'm going to turn the lights off. Um, it's the iris face, Singleton Berry. Ba I keep saying it wrong. Singleton Bailey. <laughs> yes. Look at this. It is. Let me, let, I think it is. John said, oh, it is. Let me turn the lights off. All right. If I don't trip on something, I'll turn these. Oh, let me just turn these around here. No, I'm going to turn them right off if I can do it. And we have an opening bid of 100, folks, in case you, uh, I think I've got it posted there. Uh, do follow the picture on the screen for the high bid. Uh, at least the high bids that I can see, I will post there. And if Heidi has any other, she'll let you know. Ooh, there you go. There you go. It is just gorgeous. All right. Let me, let me get going again and I'll turn these lights back on. Here's the music. Oh, good. Can you turn that light back on? John's got a light here so he can show you. It is so impressive. It was not made in a line. It was specially made for um, a shop, actually. Okay, let's turn the lights on, John. And we've got two of you at 105, so one of you will have to budge a bit on that. It is a foot. It's a foot tall. Well, Serena telling everyone it was ugly and not to bid on it didn't work, but I'm glad you're in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I actually I wanted to look this color up today. Hi, Queen Mother Dolores. I wanted to look this color up today. Could not find it anywhere. I Googled it. Could not find it. I found it in a couple other colors that um, they made for Singleton Bailey, but I did not find this one. It is just Gorgeous. Everybody's bidding 125. George is collecting the bids here for me while I show you this. Thank you, Margaret. Margaret says I tend to have amazing things. She does. I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 135, Andrea. Th this is beautiful. It's a foot tall. 
it's it's just really pretty and it's topaz irid it, it actually has a uh, lot of iridescence it has the stick the fenton sticker in there and it's a color that you're just not going to find you would love to tour my inv my inventory room room spruce i have two quonset buildings loaded a huge hip roof barn and two houses <laughs> Talk about dead piles. <laughs> George and I are probably in the same boat, but it makes me happy. <laughs> the more stuff, the more I, the happier I am. I love it. All right. Um, we have, uh, we have all kinds of bidding. So George is taking the first set he sees at 145, which is Gabby. It's beautiful. You're not going to find another one of these that comes along. Okay, it is the iris base. Rosie needs to have an event at her house, cash and carry. You know that we maybe we can have a camp out here at Drummies. That would be a blast. Everybody bring a tent or a camper. <laughs> One fifty five, Andrea. All right. Uh, Serena, let us know. Gabby, let us know. Serena's at 160. Yeah, most of mine's in boxes. I, I don't know where a lot of stuff is. That's why you never know what I'm going to put up. I unpack it and you see it. Serena's at 160. Can we rent outhouses? I, I can rent a Johnny Poop. <laughs> That's what a guy that does the outhouses, why I they call him Johnny Poop. <laughs> 163, Gabby. You have a teepee tent? I'm game for it. We better do it before it gets cold. <laughs> All right. Uh, Gabby is in at 163. We're going to do a last chance. Bid quickly. I don't want to miss anybody. Gabby's in at 163. Serena's 165. You know, next week we are going to the storage lots. We have 560 tubs in storage near Cleveland. And so next week we will be at the storage lots. We are going to have sales right at the storage lot. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> we will unpack the tub and you can bid. <laughs> 168 with Gabby. One sixty-eight with Gap. Yep, we the, a lot of my peeps are in here bidding. Um, that's what's so exciting about George and us getting together and collaborating because we're meeting all kinds of new friends tonight. We're on five different venues, and it's to me, I'm having a blast tonight just getting to know everybody. <laughs> One seventy with Serena. Uh. Gabby, let us know. I will be selling Fenton in the morning too, by the way. I do a 10 at 10 on Fridays. It's Fenton Friday. So um, we'll be doing that tomorrow. What kind of store is in storage lots? Um, just so you know, I'll let, I'll let George look at the bids here while I'm talking about the storage um, lot. We, have, um, we had a guy, he is 93 years old. He lived in Medina, Ohio or Medina, Ohio. I always say it wrong. And uh, we bought his whole house out. He was, we call it the glass house. I've never seen so much glass in my life. And he had 12 storage units we've condensed. Um, and we're down to 560 tubs. We have no idea what's in them. It's all, it's all pretty good stuff. Um, and we're going to, we sell it. I mean, if I have a tub, I might have um, half of it that, that I'm, I'm not interested in. Um, the other half is good stuff. And sometimes you find a really good item in there. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, last time we were there, we gave away 30 tubs to a neighbor. <laughs> There's so much stuff. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Sean says you should join um, the Rosie channel for the 10 at 10s on, in the mornings. We have them every weekday that uh, life doesn't interfere with it. Gabby is at 183. Serena, let us know. It is. I haven't been there for a year. And that's why we're going. We need to condense the two lots. I'm paying too much money in storage. 
183 with Gabby. Serena, let us know if you're in or out. 85 with Serena. It's just between Serena and Gabby. You need tips and tricks for not damaging breakables. We do pretty good. We, we do pretty good. I, when I, I can tell you when I am out and about getting stuff, I never use bubble wrap. Um, I don't use peanuts. I use just craft paper. When I ship, I use bubble wrap. But when I'm out and about bringing stuff, you know, back and forth from auctions or estates, we, we buy estates. Um, I don't use any bubble wrap. I just use craft paper. And uh, it, it's pretty good. You're headed to the gold rush this weekend. This, yeah, this is a tea lot. <laughs> All right. Okay, 190. Serena, Gabby, let us know. Um, what I threw away was, um, it, it wasn't that I threw it away. I gave it to somebody that was local. He, ca he came and helped us clean some stuff out. And he, um, the stuff that I gave him was like for flea markets and stuff that I just, it, there was too much. I mean, I had to do something. And so he helped me and um, I gave him the stuff that I didn't want. And I said, just go through the tubs. You'll make a lot of money on them. Okay, 192, Gabby, Serena, let us know. One more too, Tad. Uh, 193, Serena. One ninety three, Serena. Gabby, let us know. Two hundred with Gabby. Two hundred on the show vase. It glows like crazy, and you can start a collect. It's not a show vase. It's show vase size. It's the iris vase. And just to, just looking, I think there's probably maybe there might be up to five colors in this. I'm not sure. Two oh five, Serena. Yeah, you know, I, I have an auctioneer friend and he sells empty tubs and he, he actually ships them out. He was getting like five or six bucks a piece for just empty tubs. So even the empty tubs I gave him. <laughs> My arm's getting stronger. Yes, yes. Gabby's at 210. Two ten is bid. Serena, let us know if you're in or out. I can't put this on the round. It's too tall. Well, we'll put the bittersweet vase up, too. We, I've got three big vases, four big vases coming up. Serena, let us know. Thank you, Star, for subscribing to Rosie's. I appreciate it. 215, Serena. And really, guys, really, really, um, we only have 16 likes, and we've had 200 people in the house all night. If you if you're sitting there waiting and just uh, have you are inclined to go, just give us a little thumbs up. Two twenty five, Serena. Gabby's at two twenty five. Serena, let me know. Oh my gosh, my two best gals are in are bidding on this one. Gabby and Serena. Gabby's at two twenty five. Serena, let me know. Two thirty. Oh my gosh, thank you. We just got another thumbs up. Gabby, let us know. We're down between two, so we'll we'll uh, definitely wait for somebody to say they're out. 235. 235 is bid. Yes, we're on both venues. We're on both both it's it's working out pretty well tonight. I'm I'm very impressed except for we have a stutter. We'll figure that out. 245 245 with Serena. Gabby in or out? 250 Gabby. 
Gabby's in at 250. Thank you. Stripey one. <laughs> 250, Gabby. Serena, we'll wait for you. Thank you, Sativa. 255, Serena, we still have active bidding. We'll wait for the girls. Gabby, let us know. All righty, 255, Serena, all in, all done. Gabby, it's a battle. <laughs> Gabby 275, these two gals, they're, they are just, they're both awesome gals. I love them both. Gabby's at 275, Serena. Oh, Gabby went up 20 bucks. Let's see what Serena wants to do. It's exciting to watch. It's so exciting. This one doesn't come along every day. 280, Serena. I'm getting tired. <laughs> What'd you say, Jeff? Oh, go ahead. 300. John, say hello. Hello, hello, hello. He's, he's, he's going behind my window. <laughs> All right, 300, Gabby, Serena, in or out? 300 even is bid, we're waiting for Serena. Popcorn and wine. Love it. <laughs> I'll take peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> <laughs> 310 Serena. Just waiting for Gabby. 320. We still have active bidding. It is worth the battle, um, definitely. Dr. Pepper and peanut butter cup, I know. <sighs> so much food, so little waste, <laughs> so little time to eat it all. <laughs> 3.30, Serena. Oh, uh, go ahead, George. I keep, Sorry. Doing I keep doing the last chance. No, no, I know I got up for a minute and you had to, but I'm back. <laughs> No Mountain Dew for Rosie. A absolutely right. I have discovered that I cannot drink Mountain Dew after noon and sleep the next night. <laughs> All right. 340, Gabby. Gabby, is it 340? Hi, George. Hey there. <laughs> All right. Serena, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to put it down. <laughs> it's, hurt, it's hurting my back, believe it or not. 350, Serena. It's a big piece of glass. It is. It is. It's hurting my back. It's 350. Gabby, let us know, sweetie. It's better than TV watching me struggle, holding this up. Okay. Hi, Chris. Last chance. Let us know, Gabby. I'm not going to cut you off. I know it's taken a little extra time, but this is a special piece. We're still going. We are still going. 355 with Gabby. And we're just about done, guys. Hang in there. George will be up next. Mm -hmm. A similar vase in Carnival sold for $4.96. Correct. And this one is more sought after than the carnival one. I would say that's my opinion. Because I actually saw a carnival one. I didn't see the Topaz one. Serena's at 360. All right. You've got me. I have no idea which, which girl is going to um, bow out here. 360, Gabby, let us know. Just waiting for Gabby. 360. 
Okay. Let's give Gabby a hand. <laughs> let's give Gabby a hand, everybody. And we are going to sell it to Serena. And let's give Serena a hand also. Send some emojis to both girls. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations, right. Serena. Okay. I'm going to go stretch my back, George. <laughs> Well, that was a really, really pretty and unusual piece. And, you know, the good pieces, they go. And you just witnessed that. Um, but I like to bring things for all sorts of budgets and all sorts of people. So I'm going to do a choice of a couple of things that are a little more accessible for some of you folks who are looking at these high prices and going, wow, this is great, but I want to bid too. So I have two very pretty pieces that are 1970s era. They both glow under a black light. I'm going to let you guys just start the bid wherever you want. I have the choice is between the little Burmese, the little ivy ball vase here with the maple leaf pattern on it, or we have the Fenton Bell. And this one has its original clacker. It's got the blue color, the blue you see a lot in the late 70s. That was a very popular color then. Um, this one is signed with a full signature right here that you can see. Uh, there was a, um, uh, and you, anybody's welcome to start this off at any price that they want. You can start it as low as a dollar if you want and see how it goes. Uh, the, um, and we're at 25, uh, Mimi's Treasure Shop seems to be our first bidder there. Sheila Putnam, nice to see you, Sheila. Um, the Burmese, of course, has this wonderful color changing property up around the rim. So you get that really nice uh, flush of pink. If you actually put these in a case, you will see the outlines of the flowers in the uh, through the black light. In fact, I might even have a picture of one of these. Let me uh, see here. Sourcing Treasures is at 28 now, our current high bidder. Um, let me see if I might possibly have a picture of this one. Um, well, okay, there's the bell under the black light. So you can see where you still really see the, you can even see the color even with the black light on it. So if you're a black light person and you like the glowy, you'll still get the design of the piece. And let's see if I have one of this little maple leaf piece because I think the maple leaves are kind of neat and they really stand out under a black light too. I might have a picture of this one or I might not. No, I don't. Okay, you'll have to take my word for it. But uh, it does the same thing that the other piece did. So it is choice. We're at $32 choice. And so uh, we're going to see if we have uh, any other bidders here. But Sheila is our current high bidder at 32 The Burmese has always been a real hit with Fenton fans. Um, they really liked the uh, touch of pink. It just gives it some extra dimension. And then I don't know why, but I just am a sucker for the bells. I like them. I pick them up every time I see them. Uh, I think it's because when I uh, first became a dealer, I had a fellow who... Uh, his wife had loved bells and she had passed on and he just started really collecting. He said, every time I see one, I think of her and it makes me smile. And so uh, we ended up, he ended up with a very good uh, collection of all sorts of bells, including a lot of Fenton. So uh, yeah, we're at last chance here is Sheila is going to have the uh, choice of these items unless somebody else bids. And then if uh, she doesn't take both, we'll uh, allow the uh, backup bidder to have the option of the other one. So uh, we'll give it just a moment here. We're waiting for stripe, Stripey one. Stripe one, yes. Yeah, Stripey one, if you're still in, let us know. Otherwise, tell us you're out and we'll wrap up here. But uh, yeah, they are very sweet pieces. And uh, I thought that uh, fellow story with the, the wife and the bell. Now, I, on the other hand, had a uh, friend of mine who uh, worked with me in the antique business and we shared a mall space and she liked me to do all the heavy work. So she would pick up a bell and ring it like I was the butler every time she wanted me to carry something. So I don't have the same nostalgia for bells that, uh, who knows, that might change over the years. Uh, just waiting to see if Stripey One is still in on these. Uh, otherwise, we'll go ahead and, oh, we've got uh, Tina at 33 is our high bidder now. So it's either uh, Tina or Sheila, choice on the two pieces here. And we're just going to wait for a moment to see if Sheila's still in or if this goes to Tina. So uh, we'll give it just a moment here. This one, um, it does have the Fenton Oval. It's kind of pressed in where it's sort of hard to see. Like when they uh, first started doing the pressing of the embossing, they maybe gave it a little too much juice. Uh, Sheila is out. So this one and Stripey one's out. So I think that means Tina Carter, it is your choice. 
Um, so please let us know, Tina, which one of these you would like for the $33 choice, or you may have both. And if you don't take both, we'll ask the uh, backup bidder really quickly about the other one and then move on here. So uh, uh, I'm glad you're excited, Tina. Now just let me know which one is yours or if both of them are yours, and then we'll move from there. The, um, the little one here is about uh, four, but the first, not the bell. Okay, very good. So that is for you, Tina. Thank you very much. And um, our backup bidder, um, if, uh, yeah, I foolishly answered the first few times and that became a uh, trend. So um, if you are interested, uh, our backup bidder, let us know. You can let us know in the chat. Uh, we don't have to necessarily hold up. I can just watch for it. Uh, our backup bidder was uh, Sheila. Sheila, yes, that's right. Sheila, if you were interested in the bell, uh, let us know in the chat and uh, I will watch for that and uh, we can move on and let you go ahead and uh, sell your next item. Do you want it up for grabs if Sheila doesn't want it? Um, no, actually, it's okay. We'll let Sheila have the choice. And if not, then we're going to go ahead and move on. Okay. All right. So just let us know, even though we've, we've moved on, you can go ahead and claim that bell, Sheila. I don't know where you went, but. All right. We're going to do choice animal. Okay. Choice animal. And this is my number seven. And we got some good animals here. I will go ahead and uh, put our round up here so you can see them. Um, we have this little cat. And um, this is in custard for me. And uh, if I can, George and I were talking about cords. We got too many cords. <laughs> um, this glows like crazy. Um, and it's, it's painted to the max. The artist has signed it on the bottom. Um, I cannot read it, but that is the, the sitting cat or standing cat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start it wherever you want to start it. Um, this one is a Blue Burmese Hippo. Blue Burmese Hippo with coveralls. And this one is hand painted by Pam Fleek. And it has the Fenton sticker on the bottom. And um, he is in his little coveralls with his daisy. I'll sell at least one. You can start us out wherever you want to start us out. And then the third one is a turtle. And the turtle is in green, and it's Bev McCade. And um, you can see all the design on this one. And he is in green. All right, Polly's going to start us out at 20. We'll sell at least one. He's making that table. Very delicate. I got a doggy under my feet. <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at these. There they are. They are so cute. These are special ones too. Um, they are not common. Uh, we, turtles are hard to find anyway. Um, and this is so cute in, in being green. He's kind of natural colored. And then the custard cat, um, custard Burmese, painted like crazy. And then of course the hippo. Yes, they are all vitrified. Somebody is listening to the community boards. Yes. Mm -hmm. Polly as at 30. Okay, we have a lot of people coming in at 30. 40 with Margaret. There is the hippo. I love the hippo in blue Burmese. Another color that's going to be very hard for them to ever reproduce is the blue Burmese. It just, there's, there's too much involved in it. Then we have the um, green turtle. That's a beautiful jewel tone green too. Um, and then we have the cat. The cat is really adorned with, with florals. Just gorgeous. It's got his little eyes closed. And uh, he does glow. He is custard Burmese. He glows wonderfully. You'll get your choice. So what makes these so special is the, the cat is, is not, you know, the cat's a more common mold, but it's in custard Burmese, which is so collectible because it glows. The turtle is just hard to find. It's hard to find turtles anyway. 
Um, and the hippo is another one that you, you really don't find. And you, if you do find him, he is in the clear glass. You don't really see him in the custards or the Burmeses or the Lotus Mist. Now, this is blue Burmese. He's so cute. Debbie Looney is in at 50. So um, Margaret let us know and Polly let us know. Um, Cindy and Sharon, everybody is, is right close together. Debbie Looney's at 52. Okay, Polly, you hurry up. <laughs> you don't want to miss anything. <laughs> All right. We have 55 with Margaret Richardson. Hi, Cindy. Nice to see you tonight. 55 is bid. Debbie, let us know if you're in or out. Mark, Margaret is our high bid. Okay. Um, Debbie Looney is at 57. Hi, Susan Gibson. You're, you're just getting in there. So let us know if you're out. That's your, I think that's the first time you bid. We'll wait to see if you are just a one bid wonder. Susan Gibson, let us know. And uh, Sharon is out. Okay. And Margaret is out. So we're just waiting for our new bidder, Susan Gibson. And I think we have everybody accounted for. So Debbie is in at 57. Susan Gibson, let us know. Susan, we don't do just in cases or, or, or we're not timing it. We kind of wait for you. So just let us know if you're out. We'll give you about 15 seconds. The turtle is really cute. I love it that he's green too. Okay. We'll give you about 15 more seconds. Susan, let us know. Hi, Mimi's Treasures. Nice to see you tonight. All right. All in, all done. Oh, I hate doing this. Okay, there she goes. Made me feel better. She said she was out. Okay, um, Debbie, uh, Oh, that's, that's not a real good price, but Debbie, take as many as you want. Okay. Debbie Looney. You get your choice. And your bid is 57. Let's see which one she's going to take. She takes the hippo. All right. Susan Gibson, you are the backup if you would like one. Susan Gibson, let us know. We have the cat or the turtle left if you would like one. And uh, if Susan doesn't want one, they're going to be up for grabs. That's a good deal on either one of these. So we'll wait to hear for, from Susan Gibson, and then they'll be up for grabs. Good deal on both of them. Turtles are lucky and they represent prosperity. And this one is green, like the color of money. <laughs> I think you should get it. Take it to the casino. <laughs> okay, she wanted the hippo. So up for grabs, either one of the other two, they can be spoken for. Um, the first one that says they want it, just you'll get it. They're both very much worth that money. Uh, Jen is going to take the turtle. Um, she got it first, um, and the cat is up for grabs. So Jen got the, she got the turtle, and the cat is up for grabs. The cat is a really good deal, too. It is a beautiful color. Just say you want the cat, um, and it's well worth that, too. All right. The turtle is gone. We just, we still have the cat. So if you want the cat, just say you want it. Yes. And I see Lisa Kelly put want in, but I'm not sure if she was referring to the turtle or the cat. So Lisa, you might clarify that in the chat for us. Um, so Heidi, I know it's my choice, but I'm just, hey, Sarah, nice to see you with us. Um, I'm wondering, what do you think? Should I do hanging hearts, perfume bottles, or a fairy lamp next? Do the hanging hearts. 
Yeah, let's do the hanging hearts. I've been, I've been just, it's funny, that's the one I had closest to me because that's what I wanted to do. Okay, so um, we had the pleasure of meeting Dave Fetty at the Fenton Convention. Well, of course, um, Heidi knew him all along. That's why he came. Uh, he worked there since 1964 until the end of production. He's still blowing glass. We had the pleasure of going out to a place called um, Henderson Hall, which was an old plantation just over the river in West Virginia. And he was doing glass blowing demonstrations out there and he's still doing hanging hearts, uh, but he's older now and he's working with different glass and his hanging hearts are bigger and not tight and formed the way they were back in the 70s when they first came up with the idea. And this from 1976 is a barber bottle that is a great example. The hanging heart is this design in here where they've got the uh, the it's it's sort of like uh, other companies call this floss, where it's just random decoration. And then in the middle of it, you have these hanging hearts. And that was the reason for the name. Uh, this barber bottle came out in 1976. On the other hand, this egg here, which is a Dave Fetty egg, and is signed with his embossed stamp in the bottom. By this time, he was a big deal at Fenton, so he had his own embossed stamp. So it's got his impressed signature there. Uh, and this one was a late period one because this was that same color as that squirrel we sold earlier, and it's a very short-lived color. Um, I am going to have to start these at some sort of a number. So um, uh, the originally both of these sold for about two ninety-five each. I'm going to start them out at a hundred forty-five choice. Um, so I do have a starting bid on these because um, these are hard enough. I can't really replace them. Um, for, uh, well, I'm not sure I'll ever see another one in any event, but 145 is the choice on the Dave Fetty egg and Miss Wildlife is our starting bid at 145. So it's the egg or the barber bottle. The barber bottle is um, over 45 years old. Uh, the egg would be from sometime around, oh, probably, um, I'd say around 2000 was when they were doing this color. Uh, so uh, he was, and that is true. He was not a glass blower originally. Yes, that's right. He was a, uh, a carryover. And then he uh, actually he did several different things. What was his original position, Heidi? Uh, he had told us and I've forgotten now. I, I don't know. He basically worked his way up from the floor to end up being uh, an artist for them. So yes, he came over from Blanco. Yes, that's right. He worked for Blanco first and then he came and worked for Fenton and stayed there the rest of his career because he did very well there and worked his way up and uh, did really neat stuff. And it was so fun to meet him and that he's still uh, blowing glass. We've got a bit of 165 with Amy Pappas, now 170 Miss Wildlife. And uh, Miss Wildlife had the uh, good fortune to get uh, his speckled egg uh, when we were selling at the convention. So uh, I, I expect that... Uh, uh, she, I think she just likes Dave Fetty's stuff, and I can understand why, because he did really neat stuff. He is a glass rock star. Yeah, he kind of has become one, and I think it's great. You know, I think he's really enjoying being in his mid-80s, and all these people are into what he did. And, you know, considering, like you say, he started off in a basic position in the thing. Yeah, Hanging Hearts is a great pattern, very collectible. Uh, 190 Amy Pappas is our current high bidder at 190. And even at that, these are a good deal, because like I say, 295... Uh, this one was two ninety five when it was new. This one in the seventies would have probably been about half that, but with inflation, you're looking at about uh, at least that much. So, uh, two hundred Miss Wildlife is our current high bidder. He's a character. He took you a while to get used to, didn't he, George? <laughs> well, you know, he's a really nice guy, but he's one of those people who, um, like a lot of artists and artisans and glass blowers who I've met, he. Uh, you know, he might have caught me off guard, but it wasn't like he was the first one I've met uh, who had his personality. You know, they're used to kind of just they're in control. They're the artist. And if you say green and they think it's uh, off uh, blue, they're going to tell you, no, it's blue. You know, and he was definitely that kind of a guy. And I like that about him. It just took a minute to understand him. <laughs> yeah. And, and then you guys didn't see behind the scenes, though, but Dave was warming up to, to George like crazy. He was following you around in the hall. 
<laughs> oh, it was really neat. You know, I we really did uh, we really did take a shine to each other, and it was great when uh, when Miss Wildlife bought the egg, and I was able to have him do the needle etch signature on it when the, he was there. And I haven't gotten to release that video. I tried to send her a copy, but it didn't go through. So we'll put that in one of my upcoming videos. I still have a I still have more footage from the uh, convention to show. It was so much fun. Amy Pappas is at two seventy five, and is in the driver's seat currently. And uh, yeah, I thought he was a hoot too. I, I really did get a, a kick out of him and I'm looking forward to seeing him next year. And it was fun watching him blow. He had uh, uh, someone assisting him and the, uh, who I guess would be the carryover boy now. And uh, they, they were a pretty good team and he's still making some neat stuff. Uh, Miss Wildlife is at 300 choice on these. Thank you, I appreciate it. They are really wonderful. And yeah, I just, um, I, I I have to admit I love blue and green together too. So I'm looking at these and I'm like, wow, which one? <laughs> He's blunt old school. Yes, he is. And you know what? I actually like and respect that. I mean, I'm very much a diplomatic type, and um, I like people because I'm not always that way. I like people who come out and just tell you what they think and how they feel. It just sure mm -hmm. makes things easier. And he turned out to be a great guy. Uh, 350. Amy Pappas, our current high bidder, and we definitely had a. Um, uh, we definitely had a lot of fun at that hall. I even got to do some appraisals in the, the hall is full of all the stuff that's been there for the past 175 yeah. years. And yeah. they asked me to do some appraisal work. So I'll get to show that in a video. That was really fun. I've, um, I've done a few museum appraisals before, but to get to actually go in where they let you behind the cord and you get to touch and feel the stuff, it was a really neat experience that I can't wait to share with you all. That was so cool. And it I was, was the cameraman. Did I do okay, George? Uh, so far, it looks great. I haven't looked at all the footage, but I think you did just fine. <laughs> Three seventy-five for Amy Pappas, and we're just waiting between she and Miss Wildlife to see who is um, going to be the new owner of one or both of these items. It will be choice, and um, yeah, yeah, it's. Um, it's just a lot of fun. It's neat dealing with these really nice art line pieces too, because, you know, we just, I, I honestly, until I knew I was coming to this convention had never owned a piece of hanging hearts because it's not an inexpensive pattern and you don't find it that much. So I was really fortunate to get a few pieces. Miss Wildlife is at 380. And so uh, we're just waiting between she and Amy on this. And uh, the uh, uh, Miss Wildlife at 400. Wait a and, minute. Um I, I was wrong. Miss Wildlife's at three, 380. Amy's at 400. Oh, Amy's at 400. I'm sorry. Amy, you are at 400. You are the current high bidder uh, because Miss Wildlife's bid came in just after. So uh, we will just uh, wait to see uh, what you folks uh, do. But they're beautiful pieces, and I don't blame you for liking them that much. And like I said, you know, they were, they were not an expensive new and you sure don't find a lot of it out in the marketplace. I've actually never seen another Barba bottle, to be honest with you. I love the green. I love the green and black. I think yeah. that's neat. Yeah, yeah. I like them both, honestly. We are at uh, 420 is the high bid. And I, I like the tracery, too. Uh, it's interesting, though. Um, you can tell that over the years, he went from this very random style, which was really fun. And... Mm -hmm the topic of the day. And here it's more of a distinct feather pole, kind of like something you would see from the Art Nouveau period. So it's interesting how even their own uh, use of the style uh, changes over the years. Yeah. That's part of what's fun about collecting uh, glass or really anything where there's variations. And they do look fun together, I agree. We're at 430. Yeah. Amy Pappas is our high bidder on this at 430. The Barber era style also comes in a custard that's just gorgeous with the black. Oh, really? Oh, neat. I have not yeah. seen that piece before. Yeah. Yeah, I like Feather Pull 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 too. Miss Wildlife is at 440. And these are in perfect condition. I promise I check them over really well. And I'm going to keep it that way by setting this one where you can see the top because my hands are getting a little bit tired too. Uh, somebody <laughs> mentioned in the chat that I look tired. And I have to admit I am. I don't get to do live sales very often. I had a free week. I had a lot of fun things to sell and I ended up doing, this is number five of five. So I've been up late packing a lot. So uh, yes, I'm, I'm a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> 475 right. is our current high bid. We're just going to wait to see if Miss Wildlife uh, is uh, still in or. 
otherwise, and we will wait to find out. And just to remind you of our email addresses, they are in the description, theantiquenomad at gmail.com and Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. All you have to do is send an email to either one of us. I will invoice you right back on that email. If you don't know or um, haven't dealt with me before, that's really easy for me to do. All right. And George will get back with you too. If you just send him a, just send him a hello, let him know who you are. 500 is bid, 550. Lori, the uh, signature is impressed on the bottom. It says um, Dave Fetty, and then the Fenton logo is underneath. It's a little hard to read because it's an embossed signature. Um, sometimes he would actually also double sign the piece with a needle etch. This one is not. Um, he only signed the uh, one piece. Uh, but he's a pretty uh, sport. Well, actually, I better make sure that's true. He might have signed this piece, too. Let me let me there. Yeah, he did sign this piece. That's right. I had him do both. Okay, good. I'm glad I thought that far ahead. Yes, we did have him do both pieces. So it actually has, it's very faint, but right here is the needle etch of his signature right there that you can see. So it does have both. And we're at 550 for choice. 575 now. And they are really, really hard to find pieces. Again, it's a great pattern. It's one of the best things that uh, it's it's been one of the most expensive patterns that they made for a long time. I suspect it was hard to do, and it probably was not inexpensive for them. Amy is at six hundred for choice, and. Let's see uh, what else I can show you. The little dimples on the uh, stopper of the barber bottle are cute. And of course, that's because they were trying to emulate how barber bottles really look back in the Victorian era. You would have walked into a barber shop and they would have had a bunch of these with their various tonics and things that they would uh, put on you. And you would also have had a mug and the mug would have actually... Um, had your name on it and maybe your occupation if you were important because you left those at the barber shop. You did not take them home. You came in and got a shave every day and they used your mug and your razor and your brush so that no one else would get your germs. <laughs> All right. I think we finally. OK, thank you very much. So, Amy, it, the choice is yours and um, you are the high bidder. And please tell us if you want one or both and we will uh, get those set aside for you. And after uh, we find out uh, which one you want, if it's not both, then uh, we will let Miss um, Wildlife have the backup on this one. So we'll just uh, give Amy just a moment. I'm going to set these down. Thank you so much, Wildlife, for your bit for your bid. We appreciate we appreciate it. Absolutely, yes. Which one worried. is she going to take, Amy? Okay, Amy is going to take the barber bottle. So I will put down Amy Pappas for the barber bottle. Now, uh, Miss Wildlife, I guess that means that if you are interested in the egg, you may have the egg. So let us know in the chat if the egg is something that you would like for your collection to go with your other egg. And you can just let us know in the chat. All right. We'll see what she wants to do. Meanwhile, we're going to give away another bottle. So let me get this up here. Um, and just let us know on that egg. Uh, All right, now, I think I have everybody's okay. name. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt, but Cindy now says she'll take the custard cat if it's still available. I didn't want you to miss that. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, no, it's already gone. Thank you. Thank you anyway. Okay. okay. Um, let me make sure you can life, see this. It's a yes on the egg. That's wonderful. I'm glad you both got what you wanted. Oh, great. Great. Awesome. Okay. We're going to go ahead and give this away. I thought we had a break in the action here. This is a Freeman water bottle, nice water bottle with some facial products and a headband. And it is Serena's if she's in the house. Serena, Serena, I know she's here. I just saw her. Claim your prize, Serena. Well, she might not be because she's got some kids that are she's getting ready to go to school with. So, yeah. Serena, if you're in house, this is yours, and she claimed it. Thank you. All right. Well, let me get rid of this. 
Okay. Let's let me put her name on that before I forget. Let's go ahead and do the bittersweet uh, uh, swung vase. Everybody mm. was been has been looking at that, and uh, I did bring one. I tell you what, I'm getting a sore back tonight. All right. So here we go. We're going to do the bittersweet swung vase. And uh, this one, of all the ones that I had listed out there today um, that I showed you a picture of earlier, I think this one is Ellie Smith. And this one actually had a crust on it. Um, and the other ones didn't. I have no idea why, but this one had a crust on it. So I says, that's a little, that's a little different. I'm going to bring that one in. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and start it. And this is going to be number eight. And this is bittersweet. If you are so inclined, do I say that all the time? Are you making fun of me? If you are so inclined, I think I say that, say that a lot. If you are so inclined to bid on the bittersweet vase and subscribe to the Rosie channel, we would <laughs> love it. All right. Okay. So here it is. I will measure it for you. Um, start us out. Uh, Taylor, are you starting us out? Okay, here we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it. And I'm going to measure it. Okay, okay. So Taylor is at 250. Um, 21. Now, I am not sure about the crest on this. George, is that something? That's unusual. You don't usually see, they usually did not put the chemical in that would go opalescent on the edge. I have seen maybe one in 30 of those vases has an opalescent edge. It's rather scarce. So, and I don't know if, if bittersweet glows. Well, okay. I, I have I, no idea. I'm sorry. I said opalescent. What I mean is the, um, because it's the trim the same as the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It is a color changing property, but um, yeah, that's what I meant. That sort of custard color is unusual. Yeah, it's on the screen, John. Taylor's at 250. It does have a weird glow, but I picked this one out of all the ones that I showed you pictures of today because this one had the crest on it. I love them all, and I didn't want to sell any of them. I wanted to enjoy them for a while, but I put pictures up, and so this one, I'm like, well, this is unusual. Let's put this one up. So we have 250 with Taylor, and uh, I'm going to go back and collect that bid. Okay, anybody else? That is very unusual. That is different from all the other ones. It is, it's because it's got the crest on it. All right. Give it to me. I was really hoping for the egg so I can sit with the sit it with the other one. Oh, okay. All right. It is sold to Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. All right, George, you're up. All right. Uh, well, gosh, this is fun. I'll tell you what. Um, I'm going to. I'm going to do the other thing I was going to do choice <laughs> last time when I asked about the other piece, and these are something that we haven't really had up uh, tonight. So <laughs> it's going to be choice of two perfume bottles, and the. Um, uh, let's see. I think, and I am going to do a starting bid of $50 on these. So $50 is our opening bid. If anyone would like to make it, let me show you. Part of the reason for that is that originally this one was $119. It still has its original tag. And it uh, says artful celebration. And it's talking about Fenton Cranberry made with pure gold in the finest tradition of mouth-blown craftsmanship. So uh, yes, they had to put cranberry in the glass. Uh, uh, for a cranberry glass, they had to put gold in it to get the color. And that's why it was a little more expensive than the pink one, which was $89.50 when it was new about the same time. These are both pieces that are about 30 years old. And we've got a couple of people at $50 opening bid. So that's great. Um, you notice uh, they both have their charms in there for different reasons. This one, of course, is nice if you're a cranberry lover. It's also nice because it's really well decorated and you can see the uh, 
a little, I think they're forget-me-nots and uh, the bigger um, open floral on that. This one has the artist's signature on it, which um, looks like it is a full signature there. Hand painted by, oh, C. Smith. Okay, it's the initial. Uh, we had a myth dispelled for me when I was at uh, 55 as our current high bid. We had a myth dispelled for me when we were doing the, um, uh, at the convention because I asked, uh, there were three decorators who came to visit, two sold with us. And they all said, all that stuff that we've been talking about is collections about, oh, the full signature is better and it's earlier and it's this and it's that. They said, no, it just depended on how we felt, whether we put our full name or just our initial. Um, and some of them, for security reasons, didn't want people to know their full name, so they would only use their initials. So apparently, signatures are signatures, and you just buy what you like or the artist you like. Now, this artist, we can't see their name because that original factory sticker is still on there really well. And it is not going to peel off for me to show you. So uh, you will have that pleasure if uh, you end up buying the piece. Um, I like this one because it's got the uh, dragonflies on it. I just love dragonfly. Uh, I used to have a nurse in Seattle who was a collector and she bought anything dragonfly. Uh, she retired and I haven't seen her in a number of years. Otherwise, I would have put this aside for her. <laughs> um, so it is choice on these. And I think we're at $70. Um, uh, Carol Bloom is our current high bidder. Hi there, Carol. Um, and Carol, these I'll have to do in a separate box because I just sent your big box of stuff you bought for me the other day. Uh, I went to UPS this afternoon, so it's on the way already. Um, Debbie Looney is at 75 for choice. Willie Joe says you're thinking hard about Springfield. Well, I hope you come if you feel like it. It's really fun. Um, there's going to be a YouTuber meetup and there's going to be uh, oh, over a thousand antique dealers. Springfield, Ohio is a huge Twice a year, their extravaganzas are huge, and I'm going to be in booth number 301, which is one of the few booths that actually has a number on the map so you can find it. <laughs> uh, Carol is at 80 on these, um, so Carol and Debbie are in for this. When is it? It is September 16th, 17th, and 18th. And as far as I know, I think it's the next show that I'm doing. I, I contemplated doing something over Labor Day, which I usually like to do, but I honestly... I have a lot of paperwork to do around the house and I've got to stay up and finish it. So I think that's going to be my memorial, uh, my Labor Day weekend is laboring. <laughs> $85, Debbie is the high bidder. So Carol, let us know if you're still in. It seems to be between the two of you folks. And uh, very pretty pieces. This one's got the uh, melon shape with the little beading down the center, which is a very classic uh, design you see. Uh, whereas this one, the big design is really up in the top here, this floral pattern. It's almost like a bouquet coming out of a vase, which reminds me of the old Czechoslovakian uh, perfume stoppers from the 1930s and 40s. Uh, Carol says she's out, so it looks to me like, Debbie, you have choice on these. So if you will let us know in the uh, chat. Oh, I hear Bookville is happening, and Bookville is a great show I haven't gotten to go to yet, so someday I'm sure. Um Tina is at 90 on the cranberry. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, we are still going then, I guess. Um, Debbie wanted both. So I don't know what to do because I thought we were done and I said it. So I am really sorry about that. Um, well, we didn't put soul down yet. No, but I said it and that was my Okay. Fault. Because of the lag, I don't think that uh, they knew that. So, um I don't know how to do this to make it the most fair because I kind of screwed up. I'm sorry. Um, are Debbie, are you willing to have the um, the pink one at the lower price? And let well, let, let's take a look here. Debbie, Tina wants the cranberry. Could you take the dragonfly and be satisfied with just the one? Because we kind of goofed. We got a few things going on here. And we, and we got our it's, signals crossed. It's on me. I'm sorry. Oh, usually our gals are just very good about it. Debbie, is it okay if you take the dragonfly and Tina takes the cranberry? If not, let us know. We'll figure something else out. Yeah. So we'll wait and see what she says because we, we yes. do. Yes. And I do have a yes, yellow. Yes, see? Curtain. All right. Everybody okay. give those go girls a hand. Thank so, you. Um, Tina Thank Carter you. gets the cranberry and Debbie gets the... Um, Debbie gets the dragonfly and um, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Tina a water bottle.
for being a good sport. And I'm going to give Debbie one. Oh, thank you. That's really nice of you. And really nice of you folks um, uh, being so kind to each other. And I'm sorry, I will try not to be um, such a rush in the uh, future. It's just, um, it's a little bit to keep up with here. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so um, Tina Carter, you're going to have to email me so I can get that out to you for being such a good sport. So it's just Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. And both of you will need to contact me, uh, the antique nomad at gmail.com. All right. That's what I love about this community is they're usually, they're for forgiving when we goof, we get oh, mixed up. <laughs> I'm glad because, um, yes, I, this week has definitely shown me that I am a human being and I make some mistakes. <laughs> well, we always do. Um, it always, even at the live auction house, I, you know, you did, you do, it, but when people are such good sports about it, um, it just makes it so much easier for us. All right, George, guess who painted this? Mm, I'm betting it was one of the two gals that we had, but I'm not going to guess which one's which because I don't recognize the style. It's Trudy's. It's Trudy's. Okay. You know what? I would have kind of maybe thought it was Trudy's if I'd thought about it for a minute. All That's right. really cool. It is Trudy's. So um, you met her at, you met her at the um, uh, Hotel Lafayette. And this is hers. It was a surprise Ooh. when I unpacked it. And it is, uh, it's got the original tag on it. It says TJ Mendenhall, and it it had it originally list for one thirty five. Definitely, this one is a great piece. And it's got a dragonfly on it. It's got a dragonfly. I'm gonna let you start it, and I'm gonna go ahead and measure it for you. It is fourteen and a half inches, and I've never seen it. Trude, if you're in the house, uh, let us know about it. So there it is. That's a big piece. It's a big piece. Trudy Mendenhall was at the mansion. Um, not the mansion, Lafayette. We were at the mansion a year before. So uh, this is beautiful. And this is, I'm sure this is a very limited production piece. I have never seen it before. And it is 14 inches tall. So start us out. It, it's here to sell tonight. 50 with Willie Joe. It is a full 14 inches tall. And there is some gold in the paint. There's something that makes it shimmer. I don't really know the procedure with this one. Um, and the dragonfly is super huge. And it is an awesome vase. I, it's too big for me to even put on my round. It's mm -hmm. gorgeous. I bet Trudy could tell you. Yeah. You can. Tree's probably sleeping. Probably. <laughs> no, it's not plum. It's more like violet. Jennifer is at 70. What color is that? It looks blue on the bottom. It might be your shirt. Yeah, it's no. This is a violet or an amethyst. It's not a plum. Plum's got a little bit more of a cranberry tint to it. This is a violet or an amethyst color. $70, Jennifer. But I've never seen, I've never seen this one. Is it aubergine? Okay, Andrea says it's aubergine. 80 Willie Joe. Eighty Willie Joe. Trudy is a very sought after artist. She is in our in our Rosie's co-op group. She still paints for our group today. Um, and if you um, subscribe to our channel, you'll see very uh, a lot of sales with her. Um, and she, we bring her on live. Her, uh, Trudy Mendenhall and Linda Fleming are both uh, in our co-op. And they do special uh, pieces for our Rosie collectors group that have roses on the bottom of them. All right. Yeah, it's very cool. Okay, Carol Bloom is in at 90. Nice. 
Now I'm going to go up and see. $90 is bid. Willie Joe, let us know if you're in or out. We're waiting for Willie Joe. $90 is bid. I like the Trudy playing out of pink. That's so cool. It almost looks like it's it's put on with a sponge or something. But the wings of the dragonfly have a sheen to them. It's like your ear awesome. We're just waiting for Willie Joe. Okay, let's see. 95 with Willie Joe. Carol, let us know. So Andrea Jordy, she is from Canada and she is telling us, she is our Canadian girl. She is telling us that this color is Aberdeen. And I would guess that she is right. Carol, let us know if you're in or out. Ninety-five is bid. All in, all done. I, Trudy was in the house earlier. I saw her. She came in and said hello. Carol, we're just we're waiting for you. We're waiting for Carol Bloom. Willie Joe is our high bid at ninety-five. I think Willie Joe is Ra Rachel, isn't it? That's one that really mixed me up. <laughs> That's why you have to email us. I would write Willie Joe down, and then then I'd have to figure out Rachel. <laughs> you have to tell us that information when you buy something. <laughs> Carol's at one hundred. Willie Joe, let us know. One hundred dollars even. Fourteen inches tall with the dragonfly. Trudy Mendenhall, and uh, Trudy has signed this. TJ. TJ Mendenhall. That's how she signs. Okay. Willie Joe, we're, we're going to wait for you. Okay, Tina. Thank you. Okay. Willie Joe, let us know. We're going to do a last chance. Carol Bloom is at 100. Willie Joe, Rachel, let us know. We don't want to cut you off. That's a horrible feeling. Yes, Rosie, a.k.a. Heidi. Yeah, that ain't confusing enough. <laughs> All right. Uh, Willie, are you in or out? Okay. Thanks for what you did do, Rachel. And I'm going to go ahead and sell it. And it goes to Carol Bloom. And Carol, um, Rosie's Auction House at gmail.com. And thank you very much. You got number nine. It's the aubergine vase. All right. Let me, let me just write it down. And thank you very much. All right, George. Okay. Well, I wanted to bring a little compact of Perrin, too. And you might be able to help me with this because I don't know if this is considered apartment size because it's not exactly the same shape, but it is custard. For, it's a Burmese, actually, and it has the single horn. Um, this piece was another one that uh, is not very commonly seen. And the total measurements overall are about 12 inches high uh, by about 8 inches wide. And it's got this nice floral decoration. Um, I am going to start this, but I'm going to start it pretty low. I'm going to start it at 95. This originally sold for 325. Uh, it's got hand painted by Alice Farley is our decorator on this particular piece. Oh, she's a good one. She is a good one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, the better decorators got to do the more interesting stuff as time went by. Uh, they were very kind and they padded that so that it won't uh, scratch or scrape the glass when you put it in. And it sits in there pretty nicely. So 95 is the opening bid. If you are a black light person, this, of course, the Burmese glows very nicely under a black light. And you will see just a little difference in the refraction where it'll be a little darker under your black light where the Burmese um, patterning is if it's heavy enough. So uh, the single horn apparent is starting at 95. And, uh, you know, one thing that's nice about Fenton, again, in the uh, style, because they were doing a lot of stuff that was 
based on original. Uh, and thank you for our Facebook user. If you can tell us your name, if you keep bidding, we'd uh, uh, that would be helpful because we want to make sure that we know who you are at the end. Um, Fenton was really good uh, about doing uh, what the art glass makers in the Victorian era had done, which was to decorate all the way around. So it's not like, oh, put this against the wall, and then if you have it in the middle of the table, half of it's going to be blank. No, they made sure that the decoration was everywhere. So, uh, And like I say, originally this piece was over $300 new. I don't have a black light that's strong enough with my studio lights on here to really show you um, how it fluoresces, uh, but I wonder if I took a picture of this one. I think there's a chance I did. Let me see if I can get that up, and we'll take a look. Okay, photos. And let's see if I have this one. Yes, I do. Okay, this is what it looks like under a black light. So notice it's a little darker on the edges where the Burmese is, and yet you still see all that flower. So this is really fun when you light it up. It just really pops. And so uh, I think that's um, Definitely, if you're not collecting uh, for black light, well, the fact that it's Burmese makes it very special. But the fact that Burmese glows under a black light has made Burmese very special to a whole new group of people now. And we've got two of you at 110 and now one at 115. Terry B is at 115. So um, the, the peach gonna... roses are so fun because there's a lot of things that go with it. And you're, you're going to find everything from glass pets to lamps that match this. Yes, that's true. If you like this pattern, peach roses were one of the most popular patterns. I've got a, a little uh, egg paperweight that has them. I've had, I sold a bell the other day with it. So it is a pattern you'll be able to match. And this does sit nice and straight. I don't know what it is. I think there's some parallax to my camera because I'm looking at it and it's like, oh, it looks like it bends. But I promise you it does not bend at all. I think it's just the uh, fisheye lens in the camera trying to pull it all in. I think if I hold it directly in front, you'll see that it's nice and straight and has not bent. Um, just that horn goes for 95. Yes, that's true, actually. Uh, like I say, this sold for 325 when it was new, so it is a hard piece to find. We've got Don at 120 and a bunch of you other folks just uh, right behind there. So let us know what you think and uh, we'll let you keep bidding. I am going to see if there's anything else I can show or tell you about this. I think I've shown you most of it. There's the view down the horn. You get just a little tiny bit of that Burmese color in the horn as well. Um, but that doesn't come out to the outside. You know, it's all, you know, glass is a liquid material in molten form. And so, you know, you can control it to a certain extent, but to a certain extent, it controls you. It will tell you what it's going to do. Uh, so you will sometimes see Burmese inside the horn that you don't see on the outside because it's just where the chemical fell or how the process works. So Don's at 130. If any of you other pieces, um, yes, Sativa Queen just got her first piece of Burmese from me this morning at my sale. I put it in there specifically so I could tell everyone about this sale, actually. Okay, let's see. Uh, Terry's out. Um, Don is at 130. And so we're just waiting to see if Sean, are you still in? And uh, otherwise, we will uh, sell this piece and move on. Uh, but I think you're getting a great deal, whoever gets it, um, because like I say, it sold for, uh, gosh, uh, more than double this when it was new. So it's a good piece for the price. And All Sean right. is out, so I think it's Don's. And thank you, Don. You'll enjoy that piece, I'm sure. Okay. I'm going to make sure Don's on our wheel. All right, let's go ahead and try something. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna do Burmese piece two. And this is a huge Michelle Kibbe. Now Michelle Kibbe was at uh, the Hotel Lafayette and uh, this is limited to 950 pieces. It is absolutely beautiful in Burmese. And it does glow. It's custard vermice. It has the original Fenton tag on it. And it is limited to 950 pieces. It had a price sticker of 199 on it. And it was from our very own Michelle Kibbe. And we are going to let you start it. And what number am I on? I think I'm on number 10. 14 inches tall. It's 14 inches tall. And the widest point it is... Why at this point it's eight? 
Okay. So go ahead and start this one. Now, um, that issue it, that issue number 950 is very low. Um, 2,500, I hear an echo. 2,500 is considered uh, low. This is 950. And this one will glow like crazy. Let me see if I can get my black light over here. There it is. It will glow like crazy. Michelle Kibbe is um, still working at the Fenton gift shop. She has been um, she has been there a long, long time. Here we go. There's that glow. This is one you're not going to see. 950 issued only on this one. And it is custard Burmese. All righty. So start us out. Number 10. It is a beautiful piece. It sure, it certainly is. It's a lot bigger than your, it's a lot bigger than it looks too. 14 inches tall. All right, 65. Let's go with it. It is beautiful. And there's a lot of gold in it. As you turn it to the light, you'll see a lot of uh, little golden shimmer in it. And of course, these pieces are beautiful. If you could get like a, um, a black light, a little tea light in there, it would be just a wonderful uh, little lamp or a night light. Andrea's at 75. Michelle Kibbe is an incredible artist. She she is a she can capture um, animals and uh, the realism is just gorgeous. I'm sure you saw some of her work, George. Oh yes, it was really good. And I have to say, I really like the shape of that vase. It's um, you know, it's it's a little different. It doesn't have the ruffle. Um, you know, it reminds me a lot of cabinet vases that you would see around 1900 made of porcelain. And that's part of what I like about the Burmese is it has that almost porcelain-like quality. Hi, Scott Watson. Scott comes out of nowhere. Andrea's at 80. I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. We still have 174 peeps live. Remember to subscribe to both of our channels if you haven't. We welcome you with open arms to either channel. Uh, Willie Joe is at 90. Andrea, I saw your bid. Willie Joe came in a little bit quicker than you. Uh, so Willie Joe is our first 90, 950 only. 95 with Jamie Haynes. Jamie Haynes was also at uh, Lafayette in Marietta. 100 with Andrea Jordy. Andrea Jordy is at 100. Hi, Scott. You're just lurking around, aren't you? <laughs> nice to see you tonight. Always a pleasure. 100 with Andrea. Jamie is out. Okay, so we have some new bidders. Tina Carter and Scott, let us know. Tina Carter and Scott. Scott Watson is in an even 100. Yeah, that's where Andrea already was, though. So you're going to have to try again on that. Scott. Oh, okay. Yes, indeed. Andrea Jordy was in at 100. We've actually got three of you at 100 now. Mm-hmm. So Andrea was our first 100. Scott, I'm sorry, you got to go a little bit higher. Tina Carter comes in at 110. And Scott, she beat you. The lady beat you. Scott, let us know. Willie Joe, let us know. Uh, Andrea's at 120. We're a pretty good team, George. We're handling these bids pretty good. 
So far, so good. Yes. I'm glad you're in control of the tech part. <laughs> are, are you a little more relaxed tonight that I'm in control here with this? Yes. Except for our echo. It's working pretty good. I think so. <laughs> All right, Andrea is at 120. Scott, let us know. 125, Scott, what? Oh no, Tina Carter, 125. I keep forgetting Tina's in there. So Andrea and Scott, you're both out at the moment. Let us know if you're in or out. One thirty five with Andrea. Andrea's at one thirty five. Tina and Scott, let us know. Beautiful piece. I would love to know the different designs that Michelle has painted, how many there are. She has done so much work for Fenton. She's delightful, isn't she, George? Very yeah. quiet. Very quiet. Yes. I mean, so unassuming. And then when you when she showed the pieces she was doing now, I mean, she's so accomplished and she was so demure about it. It was very sweet. I'm always impressed when people who are really talented at something are not egotistical about it. <laughs> yes. She's she and she's so good. She just she's so good. Uh, J.K. Spindler, I think, has just retired from the gift shop. So she, I don't know how many more painters they have there. I think it's Michelle is just it. Yeah, and we should probably explain the gift shop uh, because, of course, Fenton, the factory is closed. But there is a Fenton glass gift shop that is making things. Um, uh, Mosser Glass, which is in Marietta, Ohio, is actually making things. Uh, using molds that are provided by the National Fenton uh, organization that they were given by Fenton to control. So they do a limited production and they sell it through the uh, gift shop. But you can tell the difference from the original Fenton. Yeah, you you really can. That's what we're we're talking about on the community boards, um, which is our Saturday night show, how to tell the difference between the older Fenton and the new Fenton. Well, it's not new Fenton, but the older Fenton, the good, the Fenton pieces. <laughs> The genuine. Fenton versus post Fenton, yes. Yes. Mm. Scott's at 150. Tina, let us know. Andrea, let us know. Okay, we have Scott at 150. Tina, we saw your 150. Now Andrea's at 160. It is definitely uniquely shaped. I don't remember any other um, design on this mold. Yeah, I haven't seen that blank in Fenton before. That's part of what really jumped out at me about it. Yep. Andrea's at 160. Tina, um, Andrea Beach again. Scott, let us know. Looks like we got a battle here. Uh, we have 165 with Tina. One sixty-five with Tina, Andrea and Scott. It is a beautiful piece, Willie Joe. It's gorgeous. One seventy with Andrea. John's crunching trail mix. Can you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> Andrea's at 170. It is beautiful. I don't know what kind of flower that is, but it's it's pretty. <laughs> Polly heard you. <laughs> he, this is like torture. He brings me a whole bunch of trail mix. I don't like to eat on camera. And it's like, <laughs> oh, that looks good. It looks so good. Tita's at 175. It's okay, I'll eat it. You'll eat it? I know. Andrea's at 185. Ooh, 
let us know. It is a big, big day. I'm very excited. I'm going to measure it again. I can't reach that. So when they made Burmese, don't they put gold in Burmese? Yes, they do. Yes, it's over a foot. It's 13 inches. 13, 14 inches. All right, 185. So we, oh, 200 with Scott. You thought he was biting his nails? <laughs> I don't have any nails. 200 with Scott Watson. All right, Scott Watson is at $200. Tina and Andrea, let us know. Andrea is at 210. We never talked about how long we were going tonight, George. I'm probably good for another 20 minutes. Uh, top of the hour, I probably about that time, uh, you're going to be starving and I'm going to be half asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I have to tell you, George, I sure enjoyed working with you this year at um, um, Marietta. It was it really was a really, my pleasure. Oh, me too. I am so glad that you reached out and asked me to, and I'm looking forward to doing it again. Me too. Andrea's at 210. Tina Carter is out. Scott Watson, we're just waiting for you. Andrea's at 210, waiting for Scott. Waiting for Scott. Two twenty five, Scott Watson. Two twenty five, Scott Watson. Andrea, let us know. Let us know sounds like let it snow. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll be coming. <laughs> All right. It is sold. Thank you, Andrea, for what you did do. Thank you, Bitters, for what you did do. Scott Watson gets it for $225. Thanks, Scott. Yes, and we also found out that Heidi can sing. She is very multi-talented. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, she really can. We were listening to her when she was packing her boxes, and I was like, wow, you've got a voice. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I want to show a pattern that was a very popular Fenton pattern when it came out uh, because it, um, it was one of the most meticulous, intricate, decorated designs that they did. And it's called Log Cabin for obvious reasons. And we have Choice here. These are both custard glass, so they will glow. Although for a lot of the people who collect Log Cabin, that's the least of their concerns because they're buying it for other reasons. The choice is going to be between the clock made in 1985, which originally sold for 225, or the fairy lamp, which will glow like crazy under a black light, and it was originally 150. I'm going to start these off at choice at 95 dollars. So 95 is the opening bid if you're interested in either of these. Um, I'm actually going to show you the fairy lamp first. I know we have a lot of fairy lamp fans, and for the price, it'd be a great fairy lamp even if it didn't glow under a black light. Uh, which it does tremendously. Uh, this one is designed, you had to be a pretty good decorator to do log cabin because um, look how detailed it is. All the little stippling. This reminds me of some of the painted pieces we were seeing in French art glass around 1900. All of the detail, all of those little strokes. Originally, when Fenton was paying its decorators, it was, you know, they were basically like, you know, there were quotas and all of that stuff. But when these more intricate patterns came along, the, the master decorators got to take more time and do all of this work. And this one is signed by Michael. I think it's Michael Dickerson. And I was told oh. by I was told by a whole bunch of people. I hear John saying, oh, in the background, that this is a big deal guy that people are looking for now. Yes, he, he painted in the Basilica. Really? Remember, George, we went to the Basilica and we looked oh, at the angels? Yes. Oh, that's right. That was the guy. Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's a really beautiful, amazing church, a basilica in Marietta, Ohio. And he did all the restoration of these figures representing the Stations of the Cross. And they are amazing. 
And so he was um, a very talented decorator. We've got Willie Joe at $100 for choice. I and have to stop you for a moment. Sure. I, have to, I have to sing happy birthday to Scott Watson. It's a thing on our site. And it's Aww. Birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy mm. birthday to you. Mm. Happy birthday, Scott Watson. Happy mm. birthday to you. And, and many, many more. more. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 100 is awesome. bid. 100 is bid. Um, the other piece is the clock, and it is signed by... Uh, a different artist did this one. D. Andrick is the signature on this particular piece. Um, they did not, I, I have to say, I don't think I've ever seen another Fenton clock. I don't think they did a lot of these clock bodies. It would have been something that was, um, you know, extended their line, but not really their main thing. So I think the clocks are pretty scarce. And I don't think this one's ever actually been used. I don't think they ever put a battery in it. So it should work just great. And then the other choice, of course, is the fairy lamp. And, um, you know, fairy lamps uh, uh, among the YouTube crowd are really crazy. Uh, they're going nuts right now over fairy lamps. And they are uh, so much so that the prices are going up on them all over the place. eBay, everybody is starting to really catch on to these. They were so, and hi there, Lynn Newton's here. Thank you, Lynn, for your bid of 105. Um, Fairy lamps were a big deal in Victorian England. A company called Clark's made a lot of them, and they were pretty, a lot of them were a lot like this one. Uh, although in Victorian England, they had a clear liner as well. And you'd put these in your windows as night lights and that sort of thing. And then in the 60s, it was really, I think Fenton was the one that really caught on to the idea that fairy lamps were cool and people like them. We should, get them. Uh, we should make some more now. And of course, now the fairy lamps are selling for crazy things like the English ones were 30 years ago. Uh, 105 is our current high bid. I don't know if it's interested. Now is a good time to get in because the um, music's going to wind down here, and that means we're winding down. So 105 is our current high bid. Uh, Willie Joe, let us know if you're still in or if anyone else is in. And uh, it's going to be choice. And then we will uh, take it away from here. Uh, Log Cabin is interesting in that they it was so popular at the time that they made. And you see this artist, their variation's a little different. They've got the stones in the chimney painted out there. So there are variations between the Log Cabin. And that's why some people collect particular artists because they, um, they just like their particular version of it. You can see the difference in his. All so right. Just, just waiting to see if we have any other bidders. We're, We're just waiting for Willie Joe. Yes, Willie Joe or anybody else, if you're going to jump in, now is your moment. Because we are at last chance. And 105 is the bid. Christine K is in at 110. So we've got three of you folks interested in this. Let us know if you're still in or out. It's going to be choice on these. And I think you're getting a good deal. Like I said, this one sold for $225 back in 1985. Willie Joe is out. Uh, Lynn Newton, please let us know. Uh, the fairy lamp actually was $150 new because Log Cabin commanded a premium back then even, uh, even before everyone was wild about fairy lamps like they are now. Lynn's at 115 for choice. So Christine, let us know if you're still in. And I'm actually, Vegas Viking Glass is also in at 115, but Lynn had the first bid, so you're gonna have to bid a little bit higher. Uh, but we've got um, uh, Christine, Vegas Viking Glass, and uh, Lynn Newton, who is our current high bidder, are all vying for these. So uh, let us know if you're still in, go ahead and place a bid. I'm gonna, Quickly, just so you know that this isn't uh, crooked or anything, you know, these little things just sort of um, spin a little bit. There we go. I think I've got it straight now. And um, I was told years ago that uh, by a clock dealer that you should always put, if you have a clock for sale, you should always put the hands at 1010 because that is like a smile and people like that. And you should not have them <laughs> pointing down. It's an old secret. <laughs> Amongst uh, clock stores, believe it or not, I asked another clock guy, and he's like, "Oh yeah, absolutely, they tell us that." <laughs> so um, true story. So Christine, 125 is our current high bidder, and now Vegas Viking Glass at 128 for choice. And these are really neat pieces. I think you'll have a lot of fun. And if you are a black light person, well, they're going to glow. 
Uh, this one will this one will be a big chunk of glowing glass um, for sure. Or you could put the uh, and Lynn is out. So we've got uh, Christine and Vegas Viking glass. It's down to you two. Um, and then yes, uh, you can put. I, I was told uh, yesterday. Yes, you can get black light LED and put in these. Mm -hmm. Could have it glowing from the inside all the time without having to have a big black light case set up if you like that sort of thing. And I thought that was neat to know because I like black light stuff, but I don't necessarily have a showcase to put a whole bunch with the big uh, bar light in it. So Christine's at 1.30 for choice. I am going to set the clock down because I've got to tell you it's a little on the heavy side. So, <laughs> or I'll just hold them a little closer to me. Okay, Christine K, it is your choice at 130 for choice. Please let us know in the chat which one you're interested in. And if you uh, want both, you may have both for that price. Otherwise, we will uh, uh, offer one to the back if they're interested. Black light fairy lights are also available. Yes, that's interesting. And well, this effectively is one as well in its own way. Um, so I'm going to set these down, Christine, while you let us know. Clock or fairy lamp? Because, yeah, you're right. That sort of hurts your back holding it in one place after a while. Okay, Christine wants the fairy lamp. Thank you very much. And our backup bitter Vegas Viking glass. Uh, if you are interested in the clock, please let us know. That's a great deal on the clock. Somebody should pick I that know. up. That's that's a really good deal on the clock. Mm -hmm. uh, Christine K. And Christine, please do send your information to me at the antique nomad at Gmail. Okay, very good. And uh, uh, Lynn Newton, I think you were the uh, other one uh, who was uh, bidding. Yes. So if you're interested in the clock, you can let us know in the chat. I won't hold up the next uh, uh, round anymore, but I'll look for that in the chat. If you're interested, I will uh, put your name on it. Okay. All right. Just let us know uh, if you'd like that clock. That's a really good deal on the clock. The cabins are really collectible. Uh, M, M. Lynn Newton is going oh, to take the clock. She'll take the clock. Well, thank you very much. I'm glad. I'll put it aside for you. It's a great piece. Okay. All right. So um, I went ahead and pulled some Victorian glass because we, either George was talking about it, somebody was talking about it. So I pulled a couple of pieces of 1880s Victorian glass that came out of the glass house near Cleveland. These are where storage lots are coming from. Um, this is going to be number 11, and I wanted to show George a particular piece, um, but we're going to put them both up, and um, they're very cool. They're very cool. This one is a um, star basket. Uh, it had a $225 price tag back in the day when Robert did antique shows, probably in the 90s. has a twisted handle, which is always collectible, and a thorn handle. Um, it is a beautiful, I call them star baskets, but this I believe is from like the uh, late 1800s, 1910 era. Uh, this came from the same um, mm. uh, dealer and this is very interesting to me. There are fle gold flecks in there. I do not know anything about this piece. Uh, but it's a beautiful horn. You do? Okay, George. I know a little nice. bit. It, it's definitely Murano glass. I'm not mm -hmm. sure which company, but it's absolutely 50s Italian with that applied. And it looks like Victorian. It's a great piece. This is, a yeah. Uh, Robert had awesome pieces. And um, you're going to get your choice of either one of these pieces. So um, I will measure this horn for you. It's literally stunning. They're Both pieces are stunning. Um, but this is eight inches tall. And it has a, an applied flower and a vine grow, uh, up the side of it. And then we have the basket, which is just beautiful. And this has a twisted handle and it has little pulled thorns on there. And I, I don't know if this is just a style or a particular maker. Um, I can't remember. I keep thinking Herrick or Herrick or am I right, George? What's Herrick? It, it, that may be, it's been so while since I sold from his stuff. Um, but he had a lot of Stevens and Williams stuff and Herrick, H-A-R-A-C-H. Does that ring a bell? 
Um, it looks more like Stevens and Williams to me, um, possibly Hobbs Buchner, but I'm, I'm leaning towards Stevens and Williams uh, because of the darkness of the peach blow and that um, there's a name for those handles that twists. It's like a twig handle where it's got the little mm -hmm. spikes in it like a branch. Was I right on the age of that one? I think so. It appears to be Victorian. The pontal seemed right. And then this is the Murano piece. George said this is Murano. And it, it's just, this is just gorgeous. I literally unpacked this yesterday. I, had, I don't even recognize it. I've had it so long in a box. I, $50 with Dawn. And Bitter will get choice on either one of the great pieces. Dawn is at 50, all in, all done. George, I think it was you, was you, it was you, George, that was talking about how this glass is being, um, uh, coming more popular with the younger people too. It seems like Victoriana in general is starting to become noticed. Somebody asked me in my uh, chat, uh, my member chat la last night about Victorian antiques and who's interested. And I said, very older people, very much older people, and very much younger people. The people yeah. in between are all into modernism, but the millennials are, they grew up with nothing but Ikea and really plain stuff. And I'm hearing a bunch of them saying, we're sick of it. We want something with design. And they are looking at Victorian because it's the opposite mm -hmm. of Ikea. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. So we have 75 with Willie Joe. Polly, let us know. Dawn, let us know. I'll have your choice, the beautiful star basket or the Morano horn. Willie Joe is at 75. Dawn is going to do the dollar bid. She's, she's got her fingers crossed. Willie Joe, let us know. Polly's out. Thanks, Polly, for what you did, dude. Thanks for helping us out tonight with moderating. Lynn Newton is at 80. I love the Victorian glass because you never know what color glows. It always amazes me. Um, and I didn't put a black light on either one of these pieces, but sometimes sometimes the weirdest colors will glow. Oh, yeah, especially because they would use strange chemicals that they took out because of OSHA requirements in the 20th century. So they used whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have 85 with Willie Joe. Lynn Newton, let us know. 85 with Willie Joel. We're just waiting for Lynn Newton. You'll get your choice of either one of the pieces. This is my number 11 tonight. And thank you, Lynn. I, I think I do have your information. Okay. I think everybody is out. Christine Woodall said that's candy cane swirl art glass basket. I don't know which one you're talking about. I, I don't recognize that. All right. Willie Joe is at 85. 85. Yep. I'm going to go ahead and sell it. Uh, so Willie Joe, oops. Willie Joe, let us know. That is Rachel. Rachel likes good art glass and I have a hunch. I know which one she'll take, but I'm just curious. I'm not going to say and spoil it. We'll let her tell us. All right. Well, I should say them tell us because they are a lovely couple. It's not just Rachel. Okay. <laughs> Let us know. And uh, Lynn, you will be the backup. That was my guess. Okay. <laughs> yep. I thought I knew their tastes. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn, would you like the uh, basket? Lynn, would you like the basket? We have the basket left. Oh, we are approaching the three hour mark. You got one more to go, George? I, I've got one more I'd love to do as a wrap up because it's a fun piece. And um, uh, oh, thank you very much, uh, Willie Joe. I'll look for that. Um, yes, I will do this. Uh, I will do this uh, last piece because I, I think it's really fun and I just want to show it. 
Okay, the basket is up for grabs. If you want the star basket, um, you can go ahead and claim it. It has a $225 price tag on the bottom, um, but it can be yours for the winning bid of $85. So if you would like it, just say you want the basket and we'll bring Georgia. Okay, so for my final piece, I am going to present something that I have to admit, I love this piece. I know I've been pretty heavy on the uh, custard glass tonight, but it's just such a great palette for decoration. And I love the decoration on this. This is one of 2,500 that were made in the Connoisseur collection in 2001. So this is uh, getting to be late production for them. And this is on the Burmese blank. And this is called Veil Tail Habitat, the Veil Tail Habitat base. I'm going to start this at $100 uh, because originally it sold for $225. So I, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, no, that's right. Originally it sold for $225. It's got great information on the bottom. It says it's number 798 out of 2,500 and it has the, um, it's, they're, they're printed on, but it is the signature of all the principals, all of the Fenton family. You've got Don Fenton there. You've got uh, uh, Charles. You, you've got all sorts of people who were instrumental in the company around this time. Um, and they all have their signature on there. And I think that makes it really something different. Uh, and I love the angelfish. They are just, the decoration on this is just amazing to me. And it is one of my favorites. I love it that it's trimmed out in gold and I love anything with fish. It is so cool. Me you guys too. have to see this in person. It is awesome. It is a really neat piece. I did have this at the convention, but we had so much great glass and it kind of sat in the back and I decided I liked it. I wasn't sure I wanted to part with it, but I've decided that it's time. So I love this leaping frog too. And you can see the, uh, uh, there is your artist signature on the side there there's uh sharon cart is the artist of this piece and so she had to sign it up on the uh, side because of course the bottom was covered with all of the fenton uh, dignitary signatures and here is the card that came with it uh we've got a um, and we got a troll yeah yeah we don't really need any love chat but uh, thank you very much um we're at 110 willie joe here's the card that came with it saying that um, the mold for this six-point crimp base was made in 1956. The Burmese glass has a long tradition of underwater designs. And so this has signatures of the 12 Fenton family members, it says. So this is a really neat piece. And it says love chat. 112. Oh no, let's let's give him some love love chat. Kissy kissy smooch smooch. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. Kissy kissy smooch smooch. <laughs> we can all be loving. We just don't have to be as loving as they want us to be. Um, so Cindy at 120 is our current high bidder, and that's great. I, I just think this is such a neat piece. I love the uh, reeds underwater and everything. Uh, we've got uh, Cindy and Andrea both at 120. So uh, Cindy was the first bidder. Uh, it looks like we've got about uh, three or four of you who are interested in this piece. So um, let us know what you're thinking and uh, go ahead and keep the bids coming. I'm going to turn this. Uh, we've got CW Cato at 130. I'm going to turn this so you can see where the Burmese comes in at the shoulder. And then again, it's the way that they make the glass. It's, uh, you know, certain high points are where you're going to have the color come out and then it comes out around the top. So that is the piece there. Cindy is at 140. It is really a beautiful piece. And I, I was seriously tempted to keep it. Um, uh, but I kept a nice little Fenton glass fish for myself instead and decided to pass these on to you guys. Um, so Andrea is at 145. It is just a really beautiful piece. And I've... Um, uh, I, I saved it to the end because honestly, I was still debating whether I really wanted to sell it or not. So I decided I better do it before I think twice. Uh, CW Cato is at 150 on this piece. Vegas Viking is at 160. And there again are, are our Fenton family members who had their signature on the bottom, uh, 12 of them. And this is 2001. So this is about, this is the last decade Fenton is in production. Um, so this is uh, getting later in the lines, but they also put more emphasis into the artware at that point. 
and these really intricate decorations. So it looks to me like we have um, Cindy now at 165 is our high bidder. And I think we still have one other person in Vegas Viking Glass. Let us know if you're still in on this piece. I should have told you the measurements. It's actually about 10 and a half inches uh, at the top. So it's got some uh, size. We've got CW Cato at 170 is now the high bidder uh, came back in. So uh, thank you. We appreciate that. I know sometimes when you think about it, you're like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to give up yet. I still might get this piece. I know how it is. I go to auctions. <laughs> uh, right. Vegas Viking is out. So it's Cindy now or CW Cato. It is up to the two of you, which one of you is going to end up with this piece. But it sure is pretty. And I like the way they trimmed the uh, collar so you get that nice definition. It's almost like a fish tank or an aquarium that way where there's that division from the top and the bottom. And what's that down there? That looks like... Is that a sea snail I see? Wow, yeah, that's a sea snail down there. <laughs> He's cute. Yes. Yes, he reminds me of Gary on SpongeBob SquarePants, which tells you how mature I am that I know that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and there's our frog. And yeah, it's a really pretty piece. And now Carol Bloom at 168 is our current high. No, no, I'm sorry. No, it's uh, 170. Uh, Cato now Carol at 175 is our current high bidder. So um, Cindy's out. We're just uh, waiting for it's uh, Carol and Cato now are our two bidders on this piece. And let me show you the bottom a little bit too, because they even painted all the way down to the edge. You can see the layers of sand in it. Um, they just really put a lot of effort into these. The, the artware line started with one woman who started painting uh, or the painted uh, decorated lines, I should say, started with one woman who we were told about who trained all uh, the other decorators and it went from simple flowers to really complicated, intricate designs like this. And uh, C.W. Cato says he's really out this time. So I think this is going to Carol Bloom. Unless anyone else is out there, I think we have this sold and we will uh, get it to you, Carol. Thank you very much. I will have to start a new box. I wouldn't have felt comfortable putting that in with your other stuff anyway. So, All right. Let's Thank give you. one more bottle away. Let's give one more bottle away. Um, this is the Glow On Free Freeman uh, water bottle. We've got some face products in there and a headband. This is going to go um, on our wheel. We're going to give one more away, and then we will say good night. Let's see. Where is it? All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. You got to be here to win. Myra already got one. <laughs> I think she already got one. She did. She did. She got the so, first one. All right. Let's do it again. Lisa Kelly. I'm going to go ahead and put Lisa's name on it because it's late and I really don't expect her to be here. Usually they got to be here, but this is this is after eleven. We're gonna give her a break. Yes. Congratulations, Lisa! All right, I'm gonna remove that. All right, let me let me remove this, and we will say good night. And uh, George, stick around for just a second afterwards. Oh, I will. And uh, okay. thank you so much. So I hope that you enjoyed this tonight. We sincerely did. Um, and if you are a fan of mine go over to george's page and subscribe and the same thing if you are a nomad fan please subscribe to my page i hope we can do this again soon george this is fun yes um we had a great time with all of you i thank you all for coming out tonight and supporting us and i hope you have a wonderful weekend coming up enjoy it remember i'm at the 10 at 10 tomorrow um at uh, 10 o'clock it's all fenton friday tomorrow and um uh, give us a day or two to get your invoices out. And please, again, here is the um, email, antiquenomad at gmail.com. And mine is Rosie's Auction House, all low letters, um, at gmail.com. 
So um, just get a hold of us and we'll, we'll answer right back on your Gmail with your invoice. And uh, we, we really appreciate you coming tonight. Almost as fun as the turtle at the convention. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It was fun. We hope we can do this again soon. All right, everybody. Thank you. Have a wonderful night and we'll see you around the bend. How's that sound? Yes, that sounds great. Thank you so much, everybody. This was really fun and it was a nice uh, hearkening back to a really great time that we had and uh, join us in Ohio next year. Okay. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye now.